Huh? Because yeah, he, he, he was getting his ass whipped by those uh, harpies. That's right. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, did we heal? I don't did, did we, I don't yeah, you've all happened. taken a nice long rest. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I need to. I got to figure out my spells because roll 20 will not work with this particular multi class. Yeah, it's a pain. I had to do all my artificer stuff by hand because it won't recognize artificer. So, oh, yeah. I mean, unless maybe I pay for it. But... Yeah, I think that's the thing is the only cleric subclass in there is light. Yeah. Yeah, nice. so I think light. you'll just have to do it manually. Is it light or life? It life. should. Yeah. Like I said, I've got Player's Handbook, Xanathar's, and Tasha's, which you all should have access to. I don't know why it's not quite mm -hmm. different. Yeah, I can order it where it has. I think, uh, I think as the game master, I need to have them and share. So you have to buy them for Andy. That's what that's <laughs> right. It, 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 that's not what it said when I bought the goddamn thing. Yeah, I don't know if there's. Uh, I can look it up, but I'm. There might be a way where you share it with me, then I share it with everyone else, or. Yeah. Some of their random shenanigans. They lied to you? What? I can only see Circle of Lamb. I can't see Circle of Moon. Oh. Hey, Apostle. How you doing? Welcome. Hi, Apostle. Ooh, I'm not first. Oh. I know. How crazy. I think Close. I'm like last. That's a first. Major turn of events here. Oh, my God. We still have yeah. Thassa and Heliod. All right. It looks like everyone's rolled. I got to put you all in my order. Oh no, you guys just froze again. What the fuck? This is ridiculous. I'm getting so tired of this bullshit. Uh, this... Roll 20 is a... I'm about done with it. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right. Hi. I see you all now. Hey, there you are. This is Fox tonight. That yeah, is. Come oh on, God. roll 20. Yeah, figure your shit out. Don't be a total fuck. They have literally one job, and it's to let people play D&D &D online. And they can't figure it out. All right. Are we all... Ready, y'all leveled up your characters. You're good to go. Any oh. questions with that? I have questions, but none you can answer. <laughs> Not about roll 20. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> roll 20 is fucked. All right. But we're all good? Mm. All right. Uh, Lucky, I, I encourage you to watch last um, episode because as the gods, a lot happened. Um, okay. but we'll go over that when we next play the gods, but okay. you all, uh, the, the intrepid, uh, sojourners of the champion of the gods of the Theros. Astaronauts. Yes. The Asteronauts are, have set sail from, um, um, Altrisos okay. and are setting sail to, uh, another, town away from where you're supposed to be going. You are going to Glosion, which is to the south, when you're trying to get to the northeast to Miletus proper. But uh, there's a big prize down in Glosion that really is pulling two of your members, and that is the largest library in Theros, the Glosion Library. As you were setting sail from Altrisos, you were attacked by some harpies and quickly dispatched them. It was a very bloody battle. The corpses are, are just being cleaned from your deck. As you're continuing to set sail, it has been about a day since the attack. You've all taken a nice long rest, uh, well recovered, feeling a little more energized, like you've you really learned a lot in Altrisos, almost as if you're like a different level of champion now. Mm -hmm. 
a class four champion, as we call you, uh, is I'm not going to go through initiative in this initial round, but um, I will just go ahead and say, um, you know, Dianomenos, is there anything that you want to start off and then we'll kind of see how y'all are doing uh, yeah. as you're setting sail, getting closer to Glossian. You figure you're only a few hours away at this point. It's early morning. Mm. Beautiful day. I'd really enjoy studying the fauna, if there are any seagulls or um, marine life around. Yeah, you can do a, uh, let's do a nature check. Oh. Hold on. I feel a little more intelligent. <laughs> a nature, yeah, there are some beautiful birds. There's some large uh, seabirds, almost look like um, boobies and, uh, you know, some some seagulls of sorts you see some some puffins in fact beautiful birds yeah. all around hooray for boobies yes hooray for um, boobies also i just want to go and talk to um, rex nor and say <laughs> i don't know why but i feel like i know some more spells that just popped into my head do you have anything like that Yes, I feel as if I, you know, when I checked my spell book this morning, I'd kind of been sketching around and I'd learned two new spells. Mm. Oh, me as well. I can also do this now, and I cast light. Really? <laughs> me too. <laughs> and as you do, like, there's like a beacon that echoes off the ship, bringing in even more uh, birds and a lot of bugs. Lots just, of bugs. I just the cantrip. Okay. <laughs> and there's instant like a swarm of mosquitoes that come towards the ship and mill. Yeah, Rexnor doesn't have enough hit points to deal with mosquitoes. <laughs> it's a plague. <laughs> um so as as you all are are going down actually you see Romeo and the rest of them kind of pulling. Romeo hits his elbow on the side of the ship. He's like, ooh, oh, that's really hot. And Arnaldios is like, <laughs> why? Why you hurt yourself so much? Give me your oar. And he starts like rowing both of them. He's like, yes, do it this way. Get some padding. You can do it. Come on, row. <laughs> If he's reaching across the boat to row, at least we're going in a straight line, I guess. He is now. Yeah, he's sitting. He's actually standing in the middle and rowing. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's like, come on. Come on, puny little boy. Do it. <laughs> Can we get a cleric down here? He's hurt again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, right. We'll just go through real quick. Lucky, anything you've been doing? Um... I'm just observing the ocean, kind of getting a, a sense of how it feels to be near water, because I love the elements and kind of figure out how water flows and works and just kind of enjoying and, and spending a lot of time with Ezrin, kind of seeing how she watches the water and the boating and maybe helping her be like a co-captain. Are you instructing maybe. him on fluid dynamics? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, this is very helpful. Thank you, Lucky. Yes. What is going on? Yeah, go ahead and do... We'll do a sleight of hand check for you, Lucky. Okay. Oh, A 16. Good. Yeah, you're getting the tiller real good. Uh, at this point, you've been on this damn boat uh, for over two months, and you're getting pretty good at it. Good. I'm so glad, because I've not been around this much water before. <laughs> yeah, so this is like your home away from home at this point. That's right. Anything else? Uh, no, not really. No. All right, uh, Theodore. All right. Um, I mean, I will I will inspire everyone with an epic poem about the sea. Ooh. Yeah, it's... Which... Who lives in a pineapple <laughs> under the sea? <laughs> Uh, I will find one if you want, but I don't have to. It's up to you. I'm. <clears throat> I, th I thought you had one ready, but I guess not. I d I never have one ready. That's <laughs> of course <favorite>. not. <laughs> That's my secret, Captain. You're like, oh, my turn's coming I'm up in 15 minutes. Ready. I guess I won't prepare for that. This reminds me. 
Well, I was actually trying to figure out my spells, as you can see by the amount of spells that just flashed. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I absolutely get it. Yeah, I don't know how to get rid of one of those. Oh well. I can't. Hmm. What's the point of taking thaumaturgy when you have prestidigitation already? Which is better? Um, <clears throat> this reminds me of an epic poem by Edmund Spencer. One day I wrote her name upon the strand. But though came, but came the waves and washed it away. Again, I wrote it with a second hand. But came the tide and made pains his prey. Vain man, said she, that dost in vain assay. A mortal thing so to immortalize. For I myself shall like to this decay. And eke my name be wiped out otherwise. Every time you level up, you learn a new kind of poetry. <laughs> yes, that was a that was one of the earliest sonnets written in English, apparently. <laughs> nice. Fantastic. Uh, that is excellent, Theodora. I have Here, let me let me roll a, a person. I was at the Oh. Yeah. Well, oh, that was a natural one, so it went down real bad. Yeah, you know, I mean, most people are like pile of shit I've ever heard since I was at the Bacardi. <laughs> yeah, most people are like, oh, is Theodore rehearsing again? Just drooling on with useless poetry. Up again, we once had a poet at uh, the Decatia named Bull Winkle, and he gave a very good rendition <laughs> of poems. Bull Winkle, the mighty warrior. The mighty poet, in fact. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know the whole thing where he gives poetry, isn't that like part of the show? The show? You, I, I'm sure if I lived in 1930 when that show was on, I will tell you. <laughs> Uh, hey, I watched it in the 90s, I'll have you know. <laughs> yeah, it was repeats. It's yeah. From Squirrel House, all right. Yeah. All right, Tari, what are you doing? They made a they made an Amazon version of that show. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, I'm sure it's great. I did great. not know I that. I didn't. Or I loved it. It was fine. Tari, what are you doing? Um, I'm trying to think. I think I'm just watching uh, Romeo and... Uh, Arn Arn I can't Arnaldio. Arnold uh like bicker and um Arnold Arnaldio like trying to show up and um yeah, I'm just watching them and just snacking on some mice. Yeah, so you see, you know, Romeo again kind of just huddling with a shattered uh elbow and demi trying to you know provide some first aid to him as usual and arnaldios is just sitting there going <laughs> ah, this is great i love it yes <laughs> little little boy got hurt again <laughs> and it just goes on like that for hours and you know then romeo like stubs his toe or his blister on his hand pops or something like that or he like dislocates his like big toe or you know whatever Gets a crick in his neck. His eye starts to bleed. <laughs> All the things. Jeez. Just another oh day. God. Yeah, you know, he gets rickets for a while. It's it's a thing. Uh, Rex and... I, I, well, I can cast Cure Wounds on him now. Yeah, and you, I mean, you can do it. And it'll just happen over and over and over again. <laughs> exactly, so I stopped. <laughs> yeah, you're like, he's fine. Yeah, he'll figure it out. He's used to it at this point. I'm going to uh, use my mighty powers of perception to, to look out and see if there's... What is that, Amy? What is that? Lightning? Lightning or thunder. Maybe I should bring the boys in. Yeah, that was super loud. Yeah, I'm going to go get the boys. Sorry. That was very loud thunder just now. Ah. I didn't hear it. Did you hear It'll it? In your house soon. Okay. Yeah, I heard it. There's not even any rain by us. Soon. Anyway, dry lightning. Dry I lightning. Will, I will crawl up in the crow's nest and uh, do a perception check to see, you know, what's out there. Okay, so you go up to the crow's nest, do a perception check. I, I assume that gives me advantage. Oh yeah. Um. Yes. Absolutely. Eighteen. Yeah. So you see. Uh, you guys have been hugging the coast this entire time, and you uh, you do see some outbuildings of um, Glossian, and you see yes. just at the tip of the horizon, maybe only an hour away now, the tip of the library. Just the tip? Ooh. It's just the tip. Just, just penetrating the sky. 
I, uh, I cast message down to Dionominos. I see it. I see it. Oh, joyful. <laughs> and then I go and look. Yep, and you see it, and you see this domed um, building with a spire coming out of it, with a flag of Miletus uh, waving at the top. Um, off in the far distance, it's blue um, with haze. Ooh. I, I suppose the other thing that I'll do uh, while Ezrin is uh, warming up to come on to stage is uh, I'll do, climb down and I'll do a medicine check on uh, Romeo. Yeah, you do. Not, not that I'm particularly good at that, but I think it'll be an opportunity for humor. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. A 14, yeah, you notice that his, his spleen is actually ruptured. Uh, that probably needs some tending to fairly quickly, and he has a slight UTI. My, my friend, I, I do think that you should get get to a barber surgeon as soon as we get into port. Oh, thank you. I mean, I, I, I feel okay. Um, oh, no, you're not. Oh, oh. Okay. Trust me, I can see the future. It's very bad for you. Oh, do you think they have a healer in Glossian? I, I hope so, my friend. Oh, I, I, I hope so. Indeed, um, Demi is like, oh my gosh, is he going to be okay? Well, um, maybe. <laughs> Everyone sucks air through their teeth at the same time. <laughs> yes. Let, let me see, let me see. He's going to be perfectly okay. <laughs> Don't you worry, my dear. I have I have wasted no. my best role of the night to convince you that Romeo will be just fine. And, and I look at the rest of the party. And... <laughs> he needs help now. Yeah, and Arnaldios is just sitting there laughing. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> As he's like doubled over in pain uh, with the UTI. <laughs> All right. Um, Ezrin is off trying to find the dogs at the moment. Um, let me give me a quick sec. <laughs> oh, there we are. All right, and Ezrin, who was running around the house making sure that all the things were in good order. Uh, anything you doing on this little voyage? Oh, I just thought maybe there was a storm brewing, but uh, I am hanging out with Lucky Lala. I am guiding the ship, I'm navigating, keeping my eyes out for any dangers or anything fun because I'm always up for fun. Yeah, uh, again, you can do a perception check as well. So oh, many character sheets. <laughs> Six. That's Dr. Calamari, wow. though. That was Dr. Calamari. Sorry. Wrong character Sorry. sheet. Perception. 17. Oh, there you go. Yeah, uh, you see, again, you're getting much closer to the city now. You see the port, or the harbor, rather, coming into view. Uh, things are looking pretty much on the up and up. Very nice. It is wonderful to be back on the sea. I know my companions do not all necessarily like the sea as much as me, but it is my home, and I love it here. I'm starting to like it, too. Yes. I we actually are just, good friends, Lucky. I just learned how to shape shift into swimming creatures, so Ooh. this is kind of nice. Just in time for us to get off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Could I set someone up to steer the ship a while, and can Lucky and I like go for a little Swim? frolic in the sea? Yes. Yeah. Who who, do you, wanna, who do you want to who do you want to volunteer to take the till? Okay. Who wants to steer a while? No, no. <laughs> I will. I, I I can do it, but I, I got a terrible pain in my side, and I think my my elbow is dislocated. Oh, don't, don't worry. You're going to be fine. Um, should I? Okay, the, I'm gonna turn into a dolphin because that seems awesome. to be the fastest. Okay, and I just jump in as myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can move. Yay! Lucky, I want you to do a survival check. Uh oh. Can you? Both see? Of us. A, what's that? Both of us. 
No, just just lucky. Oh no! Oh yes. A twenty. A whole new world. I don't want to die. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh. Theodore is is re is uh, reciting a whole new world in. No, it's more like uh, under the sea. Oh yeah, there you go. A whole new world under the sea. Oh, you can find them. <laughs> ah, that's that's better. Is there, um, a is there a crab man race? Did we in this find world? anything? I hope so. Did we notice anything? <laughs> um, uh, you go down there and do a perception check. Oh. And eleven, you know, your eyes are still kind of getting <laughs> to getting adjusted to the darkness, but you know, you see a lot of water. It's still pretty deep here, so you can't really see the ocean floor. Uh, but you're enjoying the hell out of this, and just going in and out of the water, twirling and doing all the dolphin things. You're raping other dolphins and creatures. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> we all know how what dolphins I was, do. I wasn't gonna make a dolphin rape joke, but I definitely thought. Yeah. <laughs> We all know how we feel about dolphins here, right? <laughs> hey, I have a question. When I'm shifted, can I still speak common? Or do I speak the language? Uh, it depends on the creature's stats. If they can speak, then uh, you could understand it. Uh, but it's up to the stats of that creature if you can speak. Okay. Yeah. So. I imagine hooves are really bad for swimming, too. I think yeah. I understand sea creatures, though. I'm pretty sure. So you can okay. talk to me. That's okay. true. That's true. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. we're like friends now. We're like we're like becoming we're bonding. <laughs> there you go. Yay, I love it. Stuff, isn't it neat? You're like Aquaman <laughs> out there. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, as as the boat gets closer to the port, uh, oh, there's the dog. Um, oh, sea lions. Yes, right. Uh, no, they're dogfish. And <laughs> Ezrin and Lucky come back onto the ship after a, a good half an hour of play. Uh, Romeo lastly says, "You you know you all make fun of my physical health, but at least mentally." I am fully here. Um, I do have to say these these black orbs that we all see, like, they are quite obnoxious, are they not? Y yes, that is totally normal. Oh, okay. I just wanted to be sure. I, I really want to squeeze that... the last out of my natural 20 and deception. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I said the quiet part loud. Oh. <laughs> Except I didn't. Oh, oh! Did you or did you not? All right. <laughs> See, you make your way into this harbor that is well protected. This uh, Glossian is a small town, and let's uh, just go ahead and I I did download a new map that it should be a handout for you all as well uh, that Thomas shared. Um, I do believe so. I did what? I think you shared this map before uh, when we were talking, but Glossian is just south of Altresos. It is a... Oh, well, either way. Um, Glossian is a small city, much smaller than Altresos. In fact, uh, it doesn't have any stone walls. You can see some, some wooden palisades around, uh, almost a formality. Uh, this far south, they wouldn't expect any major attacks from uh, wild things in the in the north. Really, uh, it's, it was very well protected. The it's maybe several thousand people. Uh, again, Altresos was closer upwards over ten thousand people. Um, the economy seems to really focus on supporting the tourism and the employment of the Glossian Library. The library sits in the center of town, this palace type of, of building with um, palisades and, and arches, and it's just immaculately done. The city is, it isn't grungy, it's made of mostly stone buildings, but just much smaller in scale than what you're used to. The harbor, it's quiet for the most part, uh, a few ships coming in and out, a lot of, uh, again, transport vessels carrying people, uh, mostly scholars. This is absolutely more of a metropolitan town, much more diversity. You see um, satyrs and centaurs, um, a few even, um, you know, one or two uh, 
what the hell, Theodora, what are you? Um, Minotaurs. Minotaurs. Very few Minotaurs, but there's a few. And then um, all sorts of types of humans as well. Uh, uh, several Leonin, in fact, who have traveled mm-hmm. down uh, to go to the Glossian Library. How, how big a population did you say? It's, um, I would say, 2,500. <laughs> like it's written down there. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually can't say I've just got a black screen. So. Me too. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Oh. I didn't, want to, I didn't want to kill your flow. I figured I'd wait for the right moment. Um, God damn, dynamic the lighting. The oh, it's there's a map. Filtered. It's black. Oh, it went away. Can, you guys can't see it? Nope. Mm. It was there for a second. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Here, let me get your characters, because, you know, that makes sense. Uh, Yay, Rail 20 is the best. You know, <laughs> I'm... You got that Nat 20 for Deception, right? I've been on a few forums where, like, yeah, you got to ditch Rail 20. Uh, and I'm really thinking about it. There we go. Can you guys that's see the, it? That's yep. the world map, not the city. But you've spent money in it. I know, that's the thing. Yeah, that's the real picture. What's the, what's the uh, yeah yeah I was about to say it's the principle of the thing Duncan cost fallacy there you go yeah you also do have a handout of this um, I love this yeah. map it looks like a it looks like a, a mobile game it does it does it's nice though it's got mountains and... yeah I like this one better than uh, you probably won't be able to see this one oh, I that, see uh, that good. yeah I do see it actually okay weird. It looks okay. It's a little stretched out. Yeah. It's so, so I don't have a map of Glossian itself. There are several taverns around. It's about 10 a.m. Uh, the The library is right in the middle. Uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, Dianomos, top of the order. What do you all want to do as you um, make port? Hmm. Cast expeditious retreat and run to the library. No. Yes. Um. <laughs> That's my first. I go to find the library. Two ki- two kids at Disneyland. Exactly. Does everyone want to head to the library? I'm I'm curious about it too. What time of day is it? I guess it's about nine a.m. Okay. Yeah. Or ten a.m. Is the I library guess. what is most famous in this town? Yes, this is the library town. This the, the industry of Glossian is of one and that is the library mm-hmm. <laughs> is there any um like people that we need to go find to have permission to go into the library or um can i do like a investigation check or something on that tari yeah go ahead and do actually a perception check okay i've got my alumni keychain from this yeah oh yeah I'll say that is with advantage, uh, with a 19. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's fine. So you get advantage. I mean, you were kind of looking out. Um, oh, keeps going on advantage. Sorry. That's fine. But with a 19, the Port Authority just kind of ushers you all in, um, and they you can see the workers kind of whispering to themselves. You hear some comments. You hear your name a few times, and some of your fellow uh of Asteronauts names as well. As you begin to walk through the town, small groups begin to huddle and children begin to kind of come up and laugh and kind of play around you um, and then kind of run away as if it's um, a game to get as close to you as possible. You get the sense that your reputation precedes you. Mm. And, and there's no fee to get into port. And at this point, you're walking towards this main thoroughfare uh, towards the center of town where this library is, about um, a quarter mile away. Oh. <clears throat> right? Nice. Any Money other. for nothing in your ship docking for free. I like it. <laughs> we have no mo- not received any money. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> True. Uh, Do possible. I notice these kids as well? I'm sorry? What? Do I notice these kids as well? Yes, you all notice these children. I assume with a passive perception of 19, I get all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You all you all definitely see this. Um, so, could I, like, act, like, have my back turned toward them? And as they kind of sneak up, can I wait till they're r- really close? And then go, boom! 
Yeah, you you do that, and they're like, ah! And, like, run away and giggle and laugh, and, like, you know, they're having a good time with it, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So as you begin to get closer to this large, I mean, it is multi-story. It's, it's almost like uh, if you ever been to or seen pictures of um, St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, it's kind of like that. Um, very expansive and large and uh, overbearing. Uh, upon entering... In Rome from library? What's that? Or St. Peter's Basilica, sorry. They, um, I was thinking of St. Basil. Go on. No. Not, not, nope. Um, no, this isn't Russia. No, it has the embracing arms of Rome. I mean, Glotheon. That's right. And so uh, as you enter, you see the floor is is d designed from many colored stones, mostly of marble. There are frescoes along the walls and in these large um, rooms. And there's ornate and extremely large statues. There's a variety of statues around with large colum columns of multicolored marble and stones as well. Uh, one of the main statues that you see that is really the main entryway is the statues of Kineos and Kiro. And you all know that um, Kineos and Tiro were these two founders of Miletus, uh, these two male warriors who fought back uh, the, the Archon and founded or refounded Miletus and, and were lovers and became the first rulers of Miletus and set up the Council of the Twelve Philosophers as they were departing this mortal world. Uh, nice. so, yes, and so they are standing clasped hand to hand, and their spears are acting like columns holding up this archway and the roof. Uh, and you also see other statues of early Malitan rulers and the destruction of the Archons. If you want, you can go ahead and roll a perception check. I think this is the first time in the game Dan Ominous has been giddy. <laughs> Tari's like uh, civilization who sucks a, who gives a bull crap <laughs> right, exactly. we're in this goddamn library oh Ezrin's like peaced out uh, what, my life. do you want me to reset what I think I need to reset hold on Eh, she's restarting her side. Set up our technical difficulties, Tari. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> the ultimate nerds city. A library. Yeah. Yeah. And no, no, no. Here, I'm just gonna I'm gonna re reset. All right. And it's she's... all gonna tumble, tumble down like a house of cards. I know, and she's gone. Yeah, so is Rex and I. She, she did in. drop out uh, yeah. right before we reset. So. Okay. It's Hold only on. a nerd city if they get angry at women who are successful and they are gatekeeping the library so no one else can go in. Oh yeah, I'm not your fan of this author, huh? I'll name seven of their books. <laughs> this is based on ancient Greece. Right? I wrote that book. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, if this is based on ancient, ancient Greece, there's no women allowed in this building. Exactly. Yeah, what? The heart of misogyny. Yeah, makes Saudi Arabia look like a feminist republic. I'm refreshing. This is so fun. Yes. Yeah, oh, you're, you're pouring a potion. It's red cream soda. Nice. Why? Nice. Okay. Wait, so. Where is she? She's back. Oh, you guys can't see me? She, uh, I no, can uh, we can't see you. Don't do anything. Yeah. Uh, she is hidden under probably Jason. Probably. Or someone. Oh, she's she's on the very yeah, left. She's hidden under somebody. Yeah. Like, Who is? Uh, Ezrin. Yeah, she's... I see Ezrin. Okay. We all see everybody? Okay. Yeah, no one touched anything. 
Okay, so you're all doing a perception check, check while you're Enjoy. walking. <laughs> yeah. As you're walking in, uh, Tari's like, this place is super lame. This place sucks. Yeah, this place sucks balls. <laughs> um, Lucky Lala's like, wow. It's big. It's really overwhelming to Lucky and Ezrin. You were, you'd, you're kind of daydreaming about dancing in the ocean. Um, let's see. Uh, Ezrin, Lucky... Uh, th no. uh, even so, Dianomino is so excited that you're not really looking around. You're just like, "Where's the books? Where's the scrolls? Where's the tomes?" <laughs> not really caring about anything else. Pretty much. Uh, Theodore and Rexenor, absolutely. Full bell from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. Exactly. Like spinning around, like singing. There's birds. Um, there's some dude in the corner eating raw egg. It's gross. Um, <laughs> it's actually out. It's actually Onaldios. What'd she say? She said, "Just like every library." <laughs> right. <laughs> but Theodore and Rexenor, you see this large uh, room of one type of statue, and it's very immaculate and super complex and it's the scene of an archon standing defiantly and fighting a group of all sorts of different creatures really every type of creature in theros is represented to attacking this archon taking a closer look at her face you do notice that it's none other than arike Ooh. Who you all have fought before. And walking in, you... To, before you get into the main library complex, there is a slight gatekeeper, and the guard says that there is... What? Uh, uh, there is a ten gold fee to enter the library. Done. Okay, so you all pay... Don't you know who we are? I would like to try and persuade to get it, let us in. Barter. And he looks up to you and says, um, excuse me, what? Who, who, are, who are you? We, well, of course. We are the Asteronauts! And we all do our pose. <laughs> <laughs> where, where everyone is standing in, like, Power Rangers. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and do a persuasion check and I'll give you with course, advantage since they, they, we are mostly on the supply end of the amazing stories yeah. but <laughs> for the, the... Rex Norris turning into persuasion, Professor X persuasion, go. not bad oh, and it's with advantage oh okay but 17 is good 27 oh, yeah, yeah. He, he, out of the he looks at you all and he's like, "Oh, oh, uh, we we weren't. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Um, we were not expecting you until tomorrow." <laughs> That's how That's all right. we are. Oh, That's um, right, all right. We we're often <laughs> no one is expecting us. Boo! <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes, um, c come in, come in, please. Um, please, um, come in. Uh, yes, it is all. It is all ready for you. And you step into the Glossian Library, and you all are down at the southern end here. And I didn't put all of the characters in here, but this place is multi-storied with books and scrolls and tomes and indexes all around. There are people, and I didn't populate the people, but there are people at all these tables reading uh, vigorously. <laughs> yes, Probably. just like they do in public libraries. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is a right. There, there is, there is a, a small, quiet area towards the back where people are just jerking it to different magazines and. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, that's probably allowed here, I assume. <laughs> yes. It's not frowned upon. Uh, it's not frowned upon, put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as long as they keep it within their cordoned off area. Right, exactly. It's, it's, right. And they clean up after. 
We've, we've got magic in this land. We have press the digitation. <laughs> That's right. I got into a musical number about how awesome books are and like go through the library and. <laughs> I feel like that's something Diananos wouldn't feel inclined to do. No, I think Diananos is going to go to the the whacking section with the books and just jizz all over them. No way. <laughs> I can whack anywhere. You can't find a good great library like this. Anyway. All right, Diananos, you are up first. All right, I'm going to go to the whacking section and like write down all of the uh, <laughs> house stories as fast as I can. <laughs> oh, sure. Dear Therosian penthouse. <laughs> uh, no, I um. Dear Pantheon House. <laughs> I go and I find the spells section and I just, um, yeah, I go look through all that as much as I can. Pantheon? Yeah, so you absolutely um, go to that and you you manage to grab a handful of different spells and go to a table and start going through them, trying to find ones that interest you the most. Well, yeah. And I could probably get through most of them is in that time we're here. Yeah. Um, I, I will say that um, each of you, so you and Rexenor, will be able to find uh, each two spells. So we're a total of four spells at second level. What level do you know now? Uh, second. second. Second level. So I will say two second level and one third level spell that you all can jot down during the next day. Mm. Can we jot down third level if we don't know them? Uh, uh, we, can, we can put them in our spell book. We just can't cast them yet. Yes. Uh, okay. Yep. So that when you do, when you are able to cast them, you will have them ready. It's like, it's like buying a new D&D book and not having anyone to play it with. <laughs> <laughs> What's that like, Theodore? <laughs> That is the voice of sad one experience. <laughs> yep. Hey, anytime uh, you want to play uh, Pathfinder 2nd Edition, I'm going to play. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lucky Lala, you're in this giant library. What are you doing? Okay. Um, um, I really don't know what to do in a library. We don't have a lot of them in the School of Ale. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, true. Lucky Lala, what is it you want to know about? I want to know... What you're thinking? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do it. Yeah, Go ahead. Do a, no. per do a perception check. Perception. Oh. A 10. So you do see a section that uh, is titled, um, you know, in, in bold letters above, like, the stacks. It says, Skull of Vale. Oh, maybe I, that kind of interests me. So I, I start trotting over there. <laughs> yeah, so you clip-clop over there, and you pull down some books that uh, inform you of all sorts of different things. There's things about uh, the culture of um, satyrs. There's things about the history of the Skull of Vale, about, um, oh, what the hell? Uh, what's the god's name over there? Uh, um, Nilia and her role in the Skull of Vale and all sorts of different okay. information that you could ever want to know. The weather. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I just kind of, observe some of the books but like i kind of want to look around to see if anybody looks suspicious too like like is studying something like dark arts or something you look I mean, more, sus more suspicious than us <laughs> <laughs> yeah you look around and with a 10 you don't really see anything out of the ordinary everyone seems to be busily reading and scrolling reading okay. scrolling yep <laughs> Yep, exactly. They're just scrolling. Just scrolling along. That's right. <laughs> Anything okay. else? That's. And then I think after a while, I'm going to turn into. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to turn into anything. Okay. <laughs> You're going to hold your turning into things. Yeah, I'm not going to shift shift right now. All right, Theodore. Hmm. What do the patrons look like here? You can do a perception check. 
I can try. A 22. So you see, again, a number of uh, well-to-do creatures around. They're mostly humans, but... In, from Altrisos, this place is like the bastion of culture. Uh, mm. There are, uh, again, satyrs, centaurs. Uh, not a lot of satyrs, really, but a few um, that seem to be very eruditic. And, again, um, a, a minotaur or two and some, did I say, I said centaurs, some leonin, all sorts of different people. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if I would be... And with the 22 also, you do see what appears to be the main librarian near the top of around these two kind of circular stairs looking over the group. Does he seem to have noticed us? Uh, right here. He does appear to be watching uh, your movements. Interesting. Like a centaur. I, uh, can I move in a way that I would notice whether he was watching me? Uh, with the 22, you do get a sense that he is scanning all of you, but as you move, he makes sure that he keeps track of you as well. Interesting. Curious. I believe my compatriots, for those who have not already wandered off into the, the, <laughs> the beaded portion, <laughs> I believe we are being watched. I mean, we did make a really extravagant entrance, and perhaps that was a mistake. But <laughs> Even hmm. if I saw the children outside, they were watching us. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that four-legged gentleman. Yes. At least he's not backwards like the other one. <laughs> or or <laughs> has a human bottom. <laughs> The, two the, more traditional, the two more traditional form of centaur, yes. <laughs> Much preferred. Is there anything else I can tell about this particular? Uh, this with a twenty, mm. with a twenty-two, you get the sense that he uh, appears to be. Oh, what do I say? <laughs> Very keen, again, on watching all of you. Uh, he does seem to fit in well with this type of environment. Um, seems to be friendly. Doesn't seem to be should, malicious in any kind of a way. Should we venture forth and introduce ourselves? This may be the main librarian. Sure. I'm asking you, group. Stop, scro Stop yeah, scrolling. I'm... Absolutely. Dianominos is busy, like, putting yes. books scrolling. down his trousers and, like, rubbing himself with them. Yeah. Down his... No, he's, I... he's using his magic photocopier is all. <laughs> 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 he's, he's he, he should be able to write more spells, I think. Yeah. He's I... <laughs> it take me two minutes per mm. level. Mm. I am good. very curious. I mean, I, I am very curious about this particular individual, but... I am also very curious about this library. What do you should, we, should we introduce ourselves? Mm -hmm. just, absolutely. Well, I would be done writing by this point. So, I would yeah. Just... All right. So, yeah, you I all. Will, I will step forward. Hail and well met. And he looks down at you all and says, Hey, bro, like, hail and well met. <laughs> you guys oh, want to, like, come up here and, like, have a chit chat. <laughs> yeah. Well, as they say in the parts of uh, of the Helian fellows, Chaw, <laughs> Chaw, man, like, welcome to the Glossian Library. Isn't this place like super awesome? This is like, whoa, dude! Like the first time I saw it, I was like blown out of my mind. Oh dear. Yeah, like, well, there's no deer here, though. There's just uh, me and some other sa um, centaurs and a few satyrs like you, my little bro. Why don't you guys, like, come up here and, like, let's talk about what you're doing and who you are. And yeah, man. Okay. Yes, let's chit chat. As you said. Yeah, let's, like, chit chat. Let's, like, let's, like, get a little circle. Do you know when I did a 180? <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just like, we gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> this place is fucked. Uh, anyone who worships Hilliard, I mean... Yeah. Do you know him? Enough? You, I don't know your name yet, but like, you know Hilliard? He's like such a cool bro, man. <laughs> yes, he's he's a good god. I guess I can give him that. But, um, my name is Dean Nominos. Hi, man. I'm Chiron. Hello, Chiron. Hi. Like, good to meet you all. What are the rest of your names? We uh, do our, let's do our, you know what, let's do our performance where we say all our names and do our pose again. We've already done yes. it once, presumably. Oh, I was going to do it. <laughs> Lala. <laughs> Good. Yeah, they, that's, that's right. Lala, <laughs> it's, it's lovely to meet you, Lala. Welcome to the Glossian Library. Isn't this place, like, totally rad? It's different. Yeah, I man. Kari, like kicks some books over. <laughs> <laughs> She's just spraying everywhere. Well, I see. I see someone like walking pe- towards me. I'm like, Phew. <laughs> book check. And and who are the rest of you? I got like Dionomnos and Lala. What about the rest of you? I am Theodore. Theodore, sweet. <laughs> Speaker for the city. What city? Several. Are you like talking <laughs> about Scofos? I I do come from Scofos. Yeah. But I also speak for the city itself. I believe that civilization is a, is one of the most powerful creations that that we have. Right on. That's like <laughs> deep. Yeah. It totally shreds your brain nards. <laughs> My brain nards are like so blue right now. Ugh. Like, Afera's hot, man. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what about, and who are the rest of you? I am Ezreen. Ezreen? <laughs> is that like a. My horns. What are you doing with your arms? It's like, wow. I can control the water. Whoa. So you're a, you're a triton, huh? Yes. I love the sea. And you're, and you're a fellow Nyxborn. What you see is the shat in the shadows and especially under his belly, you do see the stars of Nyx, very oh. similar to Ezrin. And he's, he says to you, Ezrin, like, so you've been to, like, the totally cool, rad, hip, um, Nyx, huh? I mean, I do not know if that is how I would describe it, but yes, I have been there, and more importantly, I'm not there now. Yeah, man, neither am I. We're, like, in the Glossy Library, and yeah. and this is pretty cool. Can I, like, fist bump him? You totally boom. <laughs> Rad, dude. Yeah, that's like for the rest of you, that's like what we do in Nyx. Like we do this fist bump, then boom. It's so true. We have special connection. Yeah. Yeah, Ezra, I feel this like kindred spirit with you. We're totally on the same wavelength. I totally agree. You're just fantastic. Yeah. I've met someone I just feel such a connection to since Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Is it cool if I call you sis? Because we're like totally bro and sis and right now. Yeah, bro, that is totally cool, bro. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and the, Lame, I'm gonna go home. And who are, who are you? You're like... Uh, you're I'm like Rexenor a, of Miletus. Whoa. Rexenor, that's like a huge, that's like a strong name. Yeah, yes, indeed. Yeah. I... You're like writing all sorts of stuff, man. I get it. There's so much to learn here. Uh, there, there really is. It's it is quite impressive. Uh, are you on the staff here, my friend? Yeah, man. This is like I'm like the head librarian. <laughs> oh, I, I must say that is impressive. Yeah. That is not the title I I, I thought you would have, but uh, you are truly a, an exemplar that appearances can be deceiving. Yeah. You know, it's 
Oh, yes, you gotta keep it down because some of the patrons get, like, real upset when people start yelling because they're busy trying to write shit down. So, like, uh, welcome. Yeah. How do you climb ladders to get to the higher levels? You know, it's tough, but, you know, you gotta figure it out. I got good upper body strength, and it's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> like, do you see... Do you see these guns, man? Like, I can throw a spear, like, a kilometer with these things. And I can climb these ladders like they're nothing. Uh, that is most impressive. Yeah, man. It's, like, totally cool. So, so you, Leonin, what's your name? I just stare at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I dig it. it. You know, sometimes it takes a while to warm up. You know, some people are shy. Don't feel pressure around me to disclose anything. Mi casa es su casa, right? Uh, yeah. So I look, I look at uh, Rex and Dianominos, and I say, Ugh. Yeah, I turn around and I start walking to the front. Tari! Tari! Look, this this place probably has things that interest you. Even what is it that yeah. you wish to know about? There has to be something. I know everything. <laughs> and it is it is Tari's turn. So Tari, what are you up to? Um, I'm just looking at like my stats. I'm not very curious. I don't feel. Maybe you can knock the books off the shelf. <laughs> Here's chaotic. Chaotic so neutral. I'm start knocking books mm. off. Um, so I'm going to, like, I will ask this librarian. I'll be like, do you have a nice fire and a maybe a rug in front? Yeah. Not, not on the rug, man. <laughs> I mean... There's fires around. If you go to one of those little kiosks, don't go near like the private section because you know it can get kind of messy. But and he kind of points you in the direction just to the on the west side. Um, there's a little area where there's this nice big roaring fire um, and a nice throw rug there. It's very um, fluffy. I'm gonna go uh, have a, a sat or I'm gonna go sit um, on the rug and just like. File my nails. Yeah. Totally. And so you're just sitting there purring yeah, a little bit. It, so you'll have to move me. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's, yeah. Rexnor, you're up. Uh, I, I will say to, to Chiron, now, you, you do provide the ring, inks and components that we need here. For cost, of course. No, yeah. We're like, you know, for you all, it's, it's totally on the house normally yeah there's a bit of a cost you know we gotta make sure that we stay at least above water here um no offense to ezrin or anyone you know not that water is bad but yeah you know you can have all the parchment uh all the ink all the quills that you could ever ask for it's on the house Excellent. you're quite generous my friend yeah thanks man if you'd excuse me i've I have about 10 hours of scribing. Wow. <laughs> wow. I have about 10 minutes. I've, I'm not quite as uh, adept as our uh, Sata friend over here. Yeah. Do you know, Minos, you're like, you got it right in your head. And you can just put it down on paper yeah. super quick. I get it. Yeah. All right. Ezrin. Yes. Do you have anything in this library to help? teach how to make magical items. I would like to study this more. Wow, yeah, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Uh, yeah, let me take you over to these stacks here that says, um, you know, magic trinkery, and we'll get you some stuff. Yeah. Yes. So and just creations in general. I am very interested in building anything magical or not. All right. Yeah, we got that kind of stuff. Totally, sis. And he takes you to this section, and um, what what exactly are you looking for? I don't know. I haven't read up the rules of making magical stuff. Yeah. I so 
long. So he does, he, he demonstrate, or he, he brings you a, a number of different tomes and you begin rifling through that. Um, and so we can talk kind of offline about what that might mean, but it'll definitely give you a perk and an advantage, kind of like if you learned uh, um, some new stuff um, during your time. Is there like a magical way he's retrieving these tomes? Or, or, or is he walking around? Or, or is he like... It's, um, it's a process known as interns. <laughs> interns who can climb the ladder. No, yeah. they're like totally no. They're work studies from, uh, you know, different uh, schools of magic and stuff. So like we we pay them not a living wage, but we pay them. <laughs> but it wouldn't be academia if you paid a living wage, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, you know, when you art only imitating well, life, imitating art. Yeah, you know, when you only charge like ten cents to make a copy of stuff, you know, you don't make a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's but, true. But it adds up. Uh, to, so, what's to be that? fair, we were charged like 10 days wage or something to come in here. <laughs> well, yeah, but that was way for you all, right? Like, I gave explicit... No, 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 I'm, I'm, I didn't say that out loud. I didn't say that in character. Okay, well, <laughs> good, man. Because we don't want any no disrespect. We don't need no shade here. Yeah. Like, this is a, this is a academic institution. Anyway, so you all spend a few hours. Some of you are getting a little bored um, as uh, Rexenor, like Dionomans, you're like, come on, Rexenor, like, speed the shit up. <laughs> but. I'm going uh, to counterspell you if you don't watch your ass. That's uh, right. Are we waiting for him? I'm not waiting for him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they, can, they can go. So I, as. I can see where they're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where know. is it? Where is it? Okay. Can I do an insight check really quickly on Chiron? Yeah. I've been meaning to do that. Okay. It's okay. A 12? Yeah. Um, he seems to be a satyr that seems to be following Heliod. A centaur, yeah. A centaur. Yeah, Man, I, I'm going to say that constantly. That's okay. Um, yeah. Theodore, yeah, he seems to be, I mean, he's a Nyxborn and uh seems to be on the up and up you also with a 17 i'll say uh you also get a sense that he is the of the cleric type hmm. did i ask him his story and how he came to come back as an born? yeah absolutely uh so you ask him he says yeah that, that's a great story uh you know, well, like, I I lived um, not too far from here, and I came here a lot, and, like, trading and stuff, and I self-taught, you know, sometimes we little dudes, we gotta, you know, lift ourselves up by our hoof straps and whatnot, and, um, by our horseshoes. you know, <laughs> by our horseshoe straps, you know, by our, um, by our stirrups, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally, dude. And you get it. You get it. Do you know, Minos? Like, me and you, we're on the same page, man. We're on the same wavelength. I'm going to call you bro, too. And... Uh, I give him a real like that, like, fist bump. Yeah, fist bump, boom. Uh, right there, man. And so, uh, one day, uh, uh, you know, uh, hell it. Watch real quick. Yeah, you know, it's okay. You know, yeah. cleanliness is close to godliness things. You know, the gods are clean sometimes, except for... You know, some of them who like death and destruction, uh, but, you know, they like being dirty. Um, don't don't worry about my black hands here. I get them clean. They're just it's a birth defect. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, so, you know, I started following Heliod, and he's a pretty cool god. He's full of light and, you know, all that good stuff. And one day he kind of came down, and long story short, he invited me up to Nyx and got to know him pretty well over a couple generations. And, uh, yeah, he, he wanted me to come back down and hang out with cool people here at the Glossian Library. And so, like, here I am. What How long have you been here? Oh, you know, not not terribly long. Uh, I'd say, you know, maybe like 15 years. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. It's time is measured in a long time or a not a long time. Yeah, so it's it's been a little while. It's been not like a long time, but not like a short time, kind of like a mid time. Got it. Yeah, you know, it's time. Time is wibbly wobbly, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's wibbly. Why? More, more yeah. wibbly than wobbly, I'd say. Yeah. I, I respect God Hilliard. I mean, his 
supposedly the king, but why him? There's so many more worthy gods, like Afara, for example. You say no one else. <laughs> well, no, I, I'm not being, meaning to be disrespectful. I just you're gonna get this light. This, you're gonna be struck by lightning. You're saying this in front of a. <laughs> yeah, you know, like. The thing is, like, all the gods are pretty cool in their own way, except for, like, Mogus, which is kind of lame. Um, oh, but... even Mogus! Dragon has our only viewer. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's alright. I will say that even Mogus has his place. You know, totally, man. Um, I've met Mogus a couple times. He's kind of a dick, but... You've met Mogus? Yeah, man, you gotta spend some time in Nyx, man. Did you ever meet Erebos? Airbus, no, he doesn't go to Nyx very often. Um, what he does is pretty short, and he kind of yells a little bit, then goes back to his little, like, underworld place. Oh, right. Um, yeah. But, so, and he's, you know, him and Heliod don't really get along all that well. Anyway, so, uh, you know, Heliod, I've spent a lot of time in the sun, and, you know, we, we centaurs, you know, we, we really base a lot of our lives around the sun, so I'm like, hey, Heliod's a pretty cool guy. That explains mm -hmm. tan. Yeah, dude, I'm so tan right now. <laughs> it's like, How dude, does your hair get all blonde and flowy. I well, you know, the sun bleaches hair sometimes, and it's like uh, uh, during the winter time, my hair's not quite so blonde, but like right now, it's like, um, you know, right during the middle of winter, and it's like so. It's like I bleached it. Like the female centaurs are just like all over me, man. I could just mount every single one. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this took a turn. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't use my my I mean, place of privilege as the leader of this here library. But you know, we're all centauroids here. It's fine. You know, Counting things happen. Part of life. Yes, <laughs> we all have these backwards legs, except for Rex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Ezra, right? Yeah. No, Maybe our legs are forward. And so, like. Backwards. Like, are you guys legs go the right way? <laughs> are you guys like into like you guys seem to be really digging into the knowledge, right? Yes. Like really digging into the knowledge. I have this like book here. I have like these five books here that I really suggest you kind of read um, because I'm told by the older like wiser librarians that like this is this is real like deep stuff here. And he, he, if it's a copy of the secret or something, I'm going to yeet this guy. <laughs> I, I can't create it happen to highly effective people. <laughs> so it's Oprah's book club. <laughs> <laughs> he go, he, he brings you all to a table and gives you a list of five books. And I just sent you, uh, or gave you access to a handout. A handout um, called "List of Library Scrolls." Ooh, look at this! I don't see it. Handout. It should be in the newspaper thing. Oh, it's very top, very very top. Okay. Ooh, how ah. yeah. Are we going to pick a scroll a piece or something? It's up to you. And Tara, you come over at this point too and start like kind of like looking at this list of books. Oh. Well, wow. I certainly would read one of these. I don't know. I am overloaded with cantrips. I don't really need that one. <laughs> Magic is pretty. Uh, I can't how to it. cast spells from the belly of the beast? I think we've all need that one. <laughs> I mean, really, I could read all of them within the same time it would take every one of you to read the rest. <laughs> Dang. Can I read them all? I can't open it up now. Here, hold on. Where'd it go? Did you come up with these titles? They're pretty good. Yeah, I did. I like them. They're scrolls. Why can't I open it up? Uh-oh. No. Have you tried rolling more than 20? Uh... <laughs> Have you tried restarting? If I do oh, that... No! No! <laughs> Don't just do turn it. Turn it off and back on again. It works every time. I just want to say also, I really like Chiron. <laughs> Good. I think it's exactly what Deonominos was... Or not Deonominos. was going for. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Why? I like the idea that every one of his, like, whatever monsters are going to sound like him. 
Right. He's Nick Barnes. He's yeah. a very respectful individual. He goes out of his way to make make way for the the, the feelings of others. True. I mean, say what you will about Kiliad, but he does seem to have everyone's best interest at heart. Uh, I don't know why I can't just like. His demeanor. You just don't like his accent. Here, yeah, I'll be, kind I'll be... of a douchebag. Stupid roll twenty. Just wait. Just wait. Doing so. Our... Okay. I've been reading these uh, titles, and they look like they're all um, magic. Magical. Uh, well, the street smarts one. Yeah, but I'm not book smart. Says who? Perhaps it's not a book. It's Maybe a scroll. Maybe divine knowledge. Although Tari seems to have more of the street smarts already, she is quite the protector she's and knows how to get us out of trouble. She's a street walking cheetah with a heart full of napalm. <laughs> title that would be it <laughs> yeah uh i i wouldn't mind reading the how to acquire divine knowledge so you look through the scroll and i mean it seems real basic this is really basic like it's this is some basic bitchiness <laughs> basic bitchiness what's the re what's the deal with all of these scrolls i don't I think Tari reads scroll number four as the last catnip you will ever need. Yeah. <laughs> you Tari looks through it and doesn't. I have a goddamn thing about catnip. Yeah, you read through it and nothing about cantrip or um catnip. <laughs> or perhaps how, nothing about cantrip. <laughs> how was the how was the scroll, Tari? Can I read that one real quick? The cat cantrip. <laughs> the last cantrip you will ever learn. Yeah. What does it say? Um, again, it's like a cantrip that is super basic, um, not really usable uh, at all. So true strike. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like, wow, this is, um, you know, there's a lot of preamble about like the theory of cantrips that no one really ever cares about. False. And that's it. What is going? These are. Um, who wrote these? My thesis advisor. So, <laughs> <laughs> is this like a code or is this some kind of cover? <laughs> what is going on? What's the centaur's name? Chiron. Chiron! What is going on with these scrolls? Well, like dudes and dude dudettes and like non binaries, like this is where like knowledge is going to come from like right these right here man um what magic to impress the empress so the magic to impress the empress uh you look through it all the magic seems very very basic it's like you know how to you know do like ex have like light or you know a uh firebolt or something like that like super basic stuff it's more of a story um not really anything to learn about which mm. empress does it even talk about yeah, uh do you know else you can as you're reading it do a perception check on that one perception yeah um, or would it be history or something uh yes do a history thank you that's right. oh, a good thing i did that 12 um you get this. You get the sense. Hey, yeah, you do get the sense that's talking about the last empress. Oh no! That's my last duchess. They're on the wall. <laughs> well, should we read the street? Uh, who would like to read the street smart book? I would say. I would say. Uh, uh, Rexenor takes a break from his scribing to uh, to read that one. <laughs> 
Which Jewish one? Street walking dude. Uh, yeah, right street there. smarts for the book smart. I'm pretty book smart with it. Yeah, so million. reading this one, it talks about like looking both ways before you cross a busy street. It talks about like don't jump into frozen rivers. Very basic. Can, can I do an investigation check to see if there's some kind of code or something? Sure. Uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, at 23, too. looking at these books, there does seem to be a pattern. Hmm. I, I think there's something we're not mi we're missing here. Something it's about leather. not in the content. S S F. Oh. No, it's looking right. at all the letters. Yeah, the yes. capitalized words or something. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Mm, that oh, madness. Apostle, I'm sure it's there somewhere. Yes. It's been checked out for the last 150 years. Fire and book from last Empress. Yeah, that, the only time it ever got returned, it was soaked in blood. They had to throw it out. Yeah. So, Dianominus, what'd you say? So I said, acquire the book from the last, or the book from the last Empress. Is what he said. And you say that out loud, and Karen's like, Right on, bro. We're like totally jiving with this. Yeah, man. You like see all this? Like none of those words are capitalized. Like way to really look into it. Yeah. I was a crypto cryptography major in uh, my undergrad. No kidding. Yeah. Wow, that sounds really intense. I mean, it, yes. It was boring. It sounds really boring too. Yeah. Boring, but intense. Intensely boring. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Exactly. Okay, so acquire the book from the last empress. Hmm. Who so is the one? a little bit about the empress. Well, since they bombed the history check, I'm also going to try to bomb it. <laughs> I may as well, too. You have a better bomb than 18. we do. 18. So, Rexenor... Oh, oddly I enough, I cast guidance on you, Rexenor. Oh, <laughs> he's like, I don't know anything. <laughs> History, what's that? <laughs> so, in the woods. Rexenor, you were one of the only ones who. Make that a night. Night. Ooh, okay. That's <laughs> that makes that makes. Well, in that case, you solved the entire mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Eight, 18 is actually 18 is actually what you needed. So now you Tim Curry did it. Yeah. And you were the only one who noticed or one of the only ones who noticed the statue in the beginning of Orike who christened herself an empress and who was thrown down by the people of Theros. Essentially the last empress of this part of Theros. I, I believe the last empress refers to Someone we know fairly well. Um, is, who is this? Enrique? Who is in, who is in the statue? So Enrique is that um, person who keeps been chasing us, right? Yes. And there's a statue of her being attacked um, or fighting a group of all sorts of different creatures, all the different creatures from Theros, um, Tritons as well, uh, taking her off her throne, killing her um, in as if the statues could continue to move. What book, though? Is she, she Nyxborn? She is Nyxborn, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What is the process for becoming a Nyxborn? Uh, usually a god. So what you know about um, Arike is that she was in the underworld and was brought back by a unknown god to challenge you all. Hmm. Chiron, what do you know about Arike? Well, like, I know that there's a statue down there. Yes. Of Arike? Uh, you know, I've I've heard she's been spotted around. Like some some god has like brought her back. Uh a couple times. Do is it which god? Uh no. I really don't, man. I'm really sorry about that. Is there a way to find out? Uh, I don't think it's going to be in the stacks. The book is in the statue by her. Yeah, we, we can we can go look at that. Let's go look at the statue. Let's go look. 
So you all go and exit out of this part of the building. I'm not going to demonstrate it for you with the map or anything. Uh, but in one of the entryways, there's a large side bill or side room. <laughs> Magic. And uh, again, there's this huge, uh, larger than life statue of of her um, being attacked. And she's looking very fierce with a sword in hand. Uh, if you want, you can all do a perception check. Can I investigate? Yeah. Or investigation. Thank you. Investigation would be much more appropriate. I'll use a portent of 14 to get a 24. Nice. Not 20, 26. Holy Dang. Uh, I guess I could, like, inspire someone and then cast the guidance, and that might get higher than a 26. Uh, I don't think you need to get higher than an at 20 and a 26. Um. <laughs> So Ezrin and Rexenor and Theodore, you all notice that her sword does not appear to be uh, fused or carved out of the rest of the block of marble. And perhaps removable. Does someone have a more delicate touch? Yeah. <laughs> it falls on you. <laughs> Yes. I'm more of a heavy hitter. I have mage hand. I could pull it out or something. I don't know if that would be smoother. Can we make sure there are no traps that we perceive? Uh, with a net 20 um, and a 26, you do not see any traps. Shall we remove uh, the sword? Yeah, who wants to try to remove the sword? Ezrin, go ahead and do a sleight of hand. Ooh, perhaps someone... Let's see with my sight. I will uh, inspire you with a poem about <laughs> using your hands. No. Oh, <laughs> I don't think it would help. So you... You, yeah. you begin to pull this off and you kind of you shake. And th from like the actual blade, it snaps off. And the pummel is left in her hand. And Karen's like, oh my gosh! That thing's like, that thing's like really old and you just like broke it. Yeah, like maybe someone else should try this. Apparently I do not have very, very soft touch. By the gods, what the Hades, man? Oh, um, sure, <laughs> surely there's someone among the library who knows mending. Does Ezra know mending? Yes, I do. It is very important to what I do. So can I cast Mending? Yeah, man. Uh, cast it. <laughs> oh, I'm casting Mending. Oh, Mending. <laughs> I apologize. Someone else should I? All right. So you can like put it back and get some duct tape and mend it back together. Uh, anyone <laughs> else? Duct tape. <laughs> anyone else want to try? I will inspire <laughs> someone. Let me get a poem for you. Poem about, I don't know. Uh, being dexterous. <laughs> Who would like to try? And I will inspire you. Mm, I could try. All right, do sleight of hand. Get, roll a d6 as well. All right, I will say... <clears throat> your, your name spun through the reel, wound up from the base of me. How I want to say it and hear my own again. So like, inspired. Inspired. Nice. Nat oh, 20. Yeah. yeah. You're feeling great. You just go up there and pluck. What a what a wild swing. Oh, come on. Roll your D6. You know you want. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. It's You're going to flourish the damn thing. Oh, uh, that'd be amazing. 25. Yeah, 25 is still pretty goddamn good. 25. Yeah, this thing just uh, pulls out of her hand super easily. What happens then is a part of the wall just to the left of you scooches, pulls out of the way, and you see a stairwell leading steeply down. Wait, wait, I have something for this. I hope it's No, involved. it doesn't work. My button. Oh no. Do you have my, my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The one time I actually want it. Dang it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Um, so Chiron, Chiron says, all, all right, like dudes Sorry. and sisses and like bros <laughs> and non-binaries, like if, 
there that sounds great man i don't know where that sound came from but you guys clearly did this i'm gonna stay here um because i gotta mine a library but y'all if i sounds like there's probably some knowledge down there that you'll learn that. monsters no maybe <laughs> maybe there's there's some shit around here i give him another fist bump Imparting. Boom, bro. Boom. I will also give you the bumping of fists. So many fist bumps. I love it. Man, you guys and me are going to get along so well. Do -do I would bumps. invite you to join our crew if you if I could. Yeah. We need I, a centaur. We're missing that. Yeah, that could, that, that could totally work. I, I mean, can, you have your library to take care of. I mean. Well, you know, I can take a sabbatical. Yeah. Yeah. Well, think of the learners you would I'm throwing a crew for a little bit. Yeah, man, that would be so cool. All right. Well, you guys go ahead and go down. I'll check you later. Excellent. Thank you, Cameron, and I cast Mage Armor. All right. This <laughs> will <laughs> smell you later. All right. It smell you later, guys. Hope you don't die. Right. Bye. Of course, they don't yeah. me. You seem extra armored today. I well, I am actually wearing very heavy armor now. <laughs> so, uh, Apostle, I have to read this. Says the sword was snapped, the handle trapped, mended though it was, and then duly snatched until its procurement showed a hidden pathway, which was doth unlatched. Ooh, I like it. And you go down this uh, this very steep, uh, precipitous fall to your left as you circle down is a sheer wall and then to your right is just open chasm uh Ooh. for quite a ways initially you don't see the bottom and then uh light begins to peer through a small doorway at the bottom um about a hundred or so feet down below the library as, as you get to the bottom, there is a fork where you can go to the right or the left, uh, just for the sake of mapping. Uh, you all take the left route and come into a new chamber that dead ends. Ooh, Ooh it's dark. Here. Okay. Can you all at least see a little bit? Uh -huh. If only someone could cast light. I do. <laughs> How does that work in roll twenty? So your light is. Um, I'll cast mine too. We, we hold become on. the Rolling Stones on Exile on Main Street and shine a light. So yeah. you do. 10 feet. Oh, wait. Uh, the spell is bright light for 20 feet. And dim for an additional 20. All right. Bright light for 20? Yep. And then dim light for an another more. Like a torch in my Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Okay. Hey, nice. And, yeah. and then. Do you know, no, so you did you did the same? Yeah. Okay. And I did the same because I have a produced flame. Uh, that's a 20-foot radius, usually. Uh, I cast, get your friends to cast light. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, yeah, y'all can see a little better. As you all come around this corner, you hear this... Boom, boom, and dust kind of falls. Oh, oh, hey, Black. Who did that? <laughs> Who did that? Sorry, it was me. My thing's not loading. Oh, really? It's so hard. Is... It reset roll twenty. <laughs> and it's like hatching dragons opening player rolling 1d20 reading core gathering stream hatching dragons crafting spells list mapping dragons <laughs> anyway maybe on my screen maybe try doing the big reset at the top of the like the like internet hey. explorer kind of chrome restart Thanks. yeah i've had to do that a couple times Thanks. i'm Just like when things are getting intense 
I know, right? Oh, I missed the Brotar already. <laughs> the Brotar. I imagine those stairs are a bitch. Dude, yeah. I'm like here with you like in spirit. Yeah. He just showed up behind you to say that. He's like, hey guys, I'm just right upstairs. It's okay. <laughs> He's just telling Dan Yeah, I'm I'll right here, you. guys. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a reset. Reset. Oh, there we go. Are you there, Amy? Yes! Okay. All right, so we can like get this going again. All right, so you hear these this boom, 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 and dust and rocks and pebbles begin to kind of fall from the the ceiling. Uh, the light flickers a little bit, and out of this, uh, for some of you just barely are able to see it, this kind of uh, skull thing up in front, you see. A large chimera oh, no. approach. And then next to it. And then next to it, you also see um, this lampid as well. What is a lampid? Do they look threatening? They look over at you, and this. Uh, let me kind of describe this chimera. It looks over at you, and all of its heads look over at the six of you and roar all at once. Its body is of a dragon, and it, its head, uh, there is a lion, a dragon, and a ram. Uh, and then the tail is like a large, almost like a, like a, like a shark or like a fish tail. Um, when the lion legs and uh, in the front and dragon legs in the back, uh, not looking terribly happy with you. It looks. Uh, can it fly? Does it have wings? It does appear to have wings with the dragon component. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, top of the order is Dianominos. All right. Um, I <laughs> Diagomas Awainos. Diavominos. 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 I yell to it, I say, Hell, friend, are you all right? You appear to be upset. And it roars at you. And I, but not in the language. Not, nope. They say, um, maybe yeah, we should come yeah. back. What's that, Denominos? I said, I tell everyone, maybe we should come back. <laughs> come back it's, later. Here's <laughs> peevish. Mm-mm. What? Yeah, Sorry. I don't know. I um. God, I just have no spells at this level. It's frustrating. Um. Okay, I cast expeditious retreat <laughs> on myself. Okay. <laughs> and uh. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, suckers. That doubles my movement, right? Uh huh. Okay. So I run. Where did I start? I was back here. Yeah. So I can't remember. One second. Um, 35. All right. So I go. Hold on. I need to do some line stuff here. Um, How far are they? About 90 feet. Yeah, they're about 100 feet away from me. So. Oh my God. Okay. So, uh, okay. He's going to go here, and then he's going to run over. Well, are you going to charge up to them? You're going to get murdered. No, I'm not charging up to them. I'm charging around. Spread them out. Yeah. So I'm going to go over here. What did you cast? Expeditious retreat. Oh. Cast then... run away. Yep. <laughs> like, ah, oh, crap! I'm running for exactly the sound it makes. Anything else you want to do? 
Uh, let me think. I don't know. I think that's it. Okay. Lala, you're up next. So are we going to fight this or are we going to run? Well, I'm already way up, up or way up on it. Let's kill it. Okay. I'm going to move up. Uh, gosh, I need to move up like 30 feet or something. Don't get too close. Well, the spell I need is a 35 range. I mean, 60. Like... Okay. You can probably get to it. About right here. I don't think I can reach it. Uh, so I have one thing. Are these? Is this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it does reach it. Okay. Yep. Sixty. Yep. I'm gonna. Oh. I'm gonna cast fairy fire on it. Okay. On which one? The chimera or the lampid? It, it actually each object within a twenty foot cube. Okay. So I'm gonna cast it about. Oops. About right here. And if they have to do a dex saving throw. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, the lamp is going to go first. It got a nat 20. Oh, okay. And then the, uh, let's see, the Chimera. Let me see, make sure it doesn't get advantage on anything in particular. All right, Dexterity, you say? Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. To, to shreds, you say? Oh, you piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> and it also got oh no that sorry um got 16 oh i think it needs 14 to save okay so does it take half damage no what it what it what, what it would have done is it would have lit them up and we would have gotten advantage on attacks oh bummer i know all right so, my spell didn't work anything else you want to do in your turn um do they have any type of armor on or metal um what's your passive perception oh i don't know like how do i find that perception plus 10 it should also be on your character sheet underneath all the skills oh passive perception yep ah, it's 14 14 uh, and I, you can roll for it but you don't see them having any particular armor okay i'll just i don't i didn't think so yep they're like beasts all right, it is now their turn. Uh, we're gonna have the lampid go first, and let's see. What's the deal with these big footprints? Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. It's just part of the map. <laughs> There's a swamp ape deeper in the cave. Let's see. So the lampid is gonna start moving. Um, oh, let me get my middle. Come on, there we go. Uh, da, 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 yeah. I'm gonna start rolling this way here, and that's its turn. It can't really do anything else. Meh. <laughs> hey, hey. All right. And then, uh, let's see, the Chimera. It's probably got some kind of nasty breath or something. Yeah, it's not great. I didn't do what I wanted to do. Oh, well. All right, it's going to fly <laughs> and then land right next to oh. Deonominos, ah. unfortunately. Um, and in doing so... The uh, best part is Deonominos ran super fast. <laughs> into the and you can't see him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. I just have to read this real quick. So it's first going to do its head uh -oh. attack and butt you with its stupid horned head. The goat head? Its goat head. And get a 15. Um, that hits, I think. That hits. All right. And that's going to do 12 <laughs> damage, but because it has a super bull head um, or bull horns, it's going to do an extra 2d6 damage. Yay. And that's going to be an extra five um, piercing damage. That was as good as that could have worked out. About. And I need to do a DC 15 strength saving throw. DC 15? Yeah, a uh, strength saving throw. Okay. Oh, that's, huh. that's my our worst skill. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, and so yes, you... 
You are knocked prone. Oh no. That's fine. These dragon snacks. Um did you update your HP? Yes. Yeah. It's not showing on your character sheet for whatever reason. Or your uh, token. Uh, what are you at? Uh oh, I don't know. Well, I should be at thirteen, I guess. Okay. Um it's next going to all right. Uh, oh, geez. This thing was like really pissed off at you. It's going to then do its claw attack for a net fucking 20. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sure I'm dead. Yeah, uh, probably. Ooh. And it's eight damage. Or no. Um, six. Ten. Ten damage. Okay. And then it's going to do its tail attack. All right, that'll definitely kill me. And get a 16 plus 7, so that hits. And then that's going to be... 9 damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. And you're down. But you're not auto-dead, so... No, you're not auto-dead. Let's see. <sighs> Let me try, look at I something. I out of its range. I've got I've got bad news All for right. you. Okay? You dropped concentration on expeditious retreat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's called expeditious retreat, not charge. <laughs> Theodore, you didn't quite hear what was going on, but you saw this chimera jump uh, behind behind this pillar, and you heard this. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I have a very bad idea about this. Um, okay, I am as a bonus action going to cast Shield of Faith. Okay, which increases my uh, I can't do it because I can't do my spells for whatever reason, increases my armor class by two because I'm casting it on myself. Here, I'll put it in here. Uh, so 22. Maybe I can give me a token or something. All right, um, okay, so how far away are these ding dongs? Uh, how far away are so you? 40 and 60? So I could charge and hit either of these, right? Uh, you have 60 feet, yes. Uh, yes. So I'm gonna use my goring rush uh, to charge at the chimera. Okay, I guess I'm going pockety 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 pockety. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, Immediately after you use the dash action on your turn and move at least 20 feet, you can make one melee action with your horns. Oh, no, it says a bonus action. I can't do it. Yeah, because you already used your bonus action. Oh, well. I'll just uh, charge up here and stand on the other side to distract it from the Aminominus. Okay. Are you going to slash at it or anything? Or no, use actually, if, I'm gonna, if I can't do that, uh, I will go 35. Well, no, I'm already there. I'm already done. I can't do I can't attack. Okay. And that's your turn. It, it sure is. Tari, you're up. I'm going to rage. I'm going to rage. I'm going to ween. <laughs> I'm going to rage. And let's see here. Where am I? I don't think I can run. Nice. There. Love it. I don't know how you measure. Um, the one above the dice thing. It's that thing. So the Chimera is 40 feet. The um, other thing is 60 feet. I I only have 35 feet. You can go halfway and throw something. Or yeah, so you can kind of go up to this line oh, up here. Um, can I get to the one that's by um, Deanominos? Uh, I mean, with the angle of the thingy... Um, uh, I'll say you can get close to them within about 15 feet of them. I think it's only 10 foot range. It is 10 foot. Um, yeah. You could go up and throw a javelin or something. Mm hmm. I guess I could do that. All right. I'm go I think I'm going to move um, as, as much as I can. Probably like. Or you could just charge and get to right next to the dandelion. <laughs> Or you could charge it, Luke. 
the whatever that other thing is. What is the other thing? The other thing is a lampid, which is um, I can make it bigger so you can kind of see it. I'm trying to look at it. It looks weird. It's like a guy is blowing up. Yeah, it's, it's what what you do know basically. Um, it's a underworld kind of dryad or oh. naiad. Oh, I see its face now. Yeah. Oh, it's like a, I didn't see that. That was the nose. The it's a real spoopy monster. Real spoopy. What do you think, Amy? All right, what do you want to do? Um, I want to go as far as I can, so... 35. 35. Okay. I'm like put you, like, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to, I guess... Um, I only have four javelins. Don't worry about the number of javelins. You can always get more javelins. Yeah, you're in the middle of a town. You can get all sorts of javelins. I'm going to uh, throw a javelin at him. Okay. Go ahead and roll for that. 18. 18 does hit. You get this thing right in the face. Which face? Uh, one of them. Ooh. And 10 piercing damage. And it sticks in there pretty good. Does that include your rage? Um, I don't know if it does on the uh, range attack. Yeah, those are usually melee. Oh, yeah, I think it's just okay. melee. All right, is that your turn? That Next turn, turn, though. All right, uh, Rexnor of Miletus. All right, so first things first uh i'm gonna cast uh misty step okay i'll pop that in there so you see what it does uh and i'm gonna move myself 5 10 15 20 25 30 feet up okay um from there i am going to cast a cantrip mm -hmm. I need the Chimera to do an intelligent saving throw, DC 16. Okay. Take a mighty four psychic damage. Nice. Um, and it fails. It will take four psychic damage and subtracts 1d4 from the next saving throw it makes before the end of my next turn. Um, and sliver. That's two. All right. All right. Uh, I I think I still have movement. I am gonna move. Five. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Uh, nope, still failed. Sorry. Go ahead. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move right out of range of that thing getting an attack of opportunity on me. But I am moving towards the Anominos. I have a couple of healing potions that I can. Down his All no, right. You, I will heal him. You stay back. <laughs> oh. in, that, in that case, I'm going to stay where I was. Okay. Dog, stop. <laughs> Rawr. The, the, hail, the hellhounds are, are awake. All right. Ezrin, Azul Nightshade, you and your creatures are up. Uh, your creatures go first. Okay. I believe that Dr. Tickety Clack. I mean, Dr. Calamario. Yes. <laughs> can barely get right here, which is five feet away. Mm -hmm. It's just very close. And he will attack with his force and power. Ooh. Got the 23. Oh, damn. 23. Yeah, 23 hits. And does three force damage, like BAM! It's less than now. Ow, you poked me! Yeah, I mean, this this lion has a little sliver in its paw. And then, Mr. Clickety Clack, I'm going to have him rush up, dash, if you will, mm -hmm. and fly on the other side to flank. Okay. I guess is. Oh, it didn't matter. I rolled high. Okay. And then I... If he's going to dash, that's his action as well. Yeah, I know. Okay. He's done. Okay. He can't do anything otherwise. So. Yep. Um, and then I am going to come up and use my... Well, I'm not going to come up. I'm going to stay stately back here. <laughs> and use my infused crossbow. Okay. Shit. 26. 12. Oh. Nice. 
Yeah, solid hit on this crossbow. You wind it up and bam, straight in the arm. This thing howls in pain. Uh, Dianominos, I need you to do a d20. All right. I tried to reach you, but Dr. Calamario couldn't take me. Ooh, a 10. Good. That's one save. I'll give you a green light for that one. Yeah. Can uh, clickety back carry a potion? You should Wait to be an underachiever. Uh, Can clickety back carry a potion to somebody and administer it? I was. I only have one healing potion, so I was going to have him administer a spell, but he it has to be in action, yeah. as does giving. Uh, what What if you could craft a flying bre beverage container that Ooh. just goes and gets you drinks? I, I love this idea. Ocean drone. There you go. But let's hey. do, let's figure this out after the battle. Exactly. Guys. Hey, Ezrin, do you mind letting the hellhound out? Um, I will let the hellhound out. All right. I, I am done. Okay. Uh, so Lucky Lala. I am actually going to shape shift into a bear. Ooh, Ooh nice. nice. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh -oh. I, I, oh, I was hoping you were going to have a costume change. I, I know I don't, but I have all the stats for the bear on my phone. So. Okay. <laughs> so then you now um, you now have bear stats. And should maybe I'll, maybe I can put like a no one Google that picture somewhere. <laughs> bear stats. <laughs> maybe something like I don't know, like that. I don't know what that is, but. That's just a little marker on me. Um, and then as a bonus action, because that takes an action right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast um, uh, Healing Word. 60 foot radius bonus action. Nice. Okay. On, on you know who. Tiamanos. Uh, on the you devil. Have, you have to do that. Ah! Oh, man. What? You have to do that before you shape shift. Yes. Oh, I do? Okay, yeah. then I'm casting Healing Word as a bonus action, then I'm going to shapeshift. Okay. <laughs> but you can't break up your turn, so you can do it that way. So. Okay. Nice. Oh, it's, uh, I think it's 3 plus 7, because I did level 2. Um, right? yes. Yeah, so it says. It's it's level... So you get 10 hit points back. And now I'm a bear. Oh, there's a bear! <laughs> I like it. Um, the bear is terrifying. <laughs> I love it. This is my pitch for me. So, Dianominos, you wake up. Uh, you're feeling pretty rough. You have, uh, yeah, 10 hit points. You are prone on the ground. Lucky Lala, anything else you want to do? I like nice bear. Yeah, that's a nice bear, not the one on, on the screen. <laughs> I don't think I can move, can I? Uh, okay, with you should be able to move, you just use action and bonus action. So. Yep, you still have yeah. your movement. I'm gonna move like to here, just kind of That's okay. It. So I'll just hide behind the bear. Yeah, I'm gonna keep your token next to you just so you know okay. for expediency's sake and for tracking your HP. All right, it is now the dyads or whatever the heck it is, um, Lampid's Thanks. turn, and let's see who it's gonna go after. So many options. So All right, it's gonna jump over and flank Theodore, as a matter of fact, and it's gonna touch you right on the shoulder. Um, actually, uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's gonna be a twenty-five to hit. Oh, God. And all that new armor class. I know. It's going to be 15 necrotic damage. Oh, wow. um, you cannot regain hit points until the start of the Lampid's next turn. All right, oh I will use my um, uh, unscarred. You know, unscarred. Okay. Uh, do you remember how that works, someone? Uh, you have to roll something and then it takes it's that. It's a d12. d12 yeah. plus con mod is what it reduces it by. Okay, so here we go. Five. So you regain so five? Ten, ten, ten damage. Ten necrotic damage. damage, and you cannot heal until the beginning of the dyads or the lampids next turn. Wow. Got it. <laughs> nice, Jason. <laughs> um, all right. And so another wisp comes over and touches you as well. And this one hits you for 13. I presume that misses. Wait, where is Who's that? this? Uh, against you, uh, Theodore. Oh. 
Yes, that misses. So you turn around. You The first hit touches you on the shoulder, does some good damage. The other one, you turn around, able to see it and dodge out of the way. Um, next is the Chimera. And it's going to um, actually jump out of the way. With its wings, it does not incur an attack of opportunity lands next to the bear and is going to actually it's going to go sorry it's going to be on top of um lucky a little bit and i gotta pull it up again i got so i need more screens three's not enough uh da, 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 da. all right so this first thing is going to do is a breath attack and it's going to hit it from a 15-foot cone. Fuck. So that's going to be Tari and Lucky and Rexanor need to make a 15 constitution saving throw. Constitution? Constitution. Yeah. Rexanor saves. Tari saves. Hold on, let me check my bears. Okay, it's the same as me. Okay. Okay. And you all save. Good job. Um, I don't, don't eat my phone. All right, so I guess you'd probably take half damage then. Okay. If it specifically says. Uh, I'm looking at... Yeah, so it's half damage. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is okay. Didn't strike me as the save or suck sort of thing. So. So it's what forward slash roll and then space and then. Uh, yeah. D eight. Number. Holy goddamn. Okay. Whoa. All right. Um. I'm glad I saved. No, that's cheating. That is not cheating. Wait. What? Maybe we need to run the fuck away, y'all. Yeah. So that's going to be 21 damage. Oh, no, Luxnor, you have 22, right? Yep. <laughs> oh nice, okay, so when I'm shapeshift, I have 19 hit points as a bear. I lose my bear hit points and only two on myself, right? Yes. Fuck me. Yes. Mm. Your bear is dead. And I'm down to two hits. Okay. That is crazy. Yeah. All right. Um, and then it's going to actually, let's see. Let me re-roll and see who it's going to attack now. Um, Bear's gone. <laughs> uh, can it get to you? No, it can't. So let me re-roll that. No. Sorry. I'm just trying to see within. Actually, fire, let's just do fire. a. Was it fire? Uh, that was a um, necrotic breath, and it's gonna attack. It's gonna attack Lucky with its claws, and get a sixteen plus seven. So I imagine that hits. Yes. All right. <laughs> yes. And and fifteen. 15 damage? Yes. And then it's going to hit you, or let's see who it hits. This doesn't really matter. It's going to hit you with its tail for um, 17. Actually, I have 17. I have so that hits. Yeah. Ah. Um, and so it's going to do, sorry. Actually, let me reroll that. So another 12, and you get pushed 10 feet away. That might be good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For him. All right. Uh, hold on a quick second. Um, so as, as that happens, you all do, especially Ezrin, right behind you, you do hear Chiron step up. And he's like, dudes, you guys look like you're having a really fucking hard time, man. <laughs> yeah, no. yes. Do y'all yeah. need some, like, help or something? Yeah, you're yeah. Is that just it's be fantastic. Yeah. All right. Bro. 
So I've no, never. We, we've got this. Oh, totally. <laughs> With my one hit point. All right. So hey, one hit point is better than no hit points. I've never played a cleric before, um, but I can cure wounds. Um, is what is that? It's a touch spell, so he does have to be next to them. Okay, he's so he's yeah, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna run up to you, Rexnor of Miletus, I'll and cast it. cure wounds um, at first level, and that's gonna be nine hit points back. Ooh, woo, double digits. Yeah. yeah. All right, Theodore, you're up. Hmm. Well, I don't really appreciate this funky creature next to me. I am going to... Let's see. I wish I had my spell list, <laughs> but I don't. I am going to cast... I'm going to use my, um, my ability to lower it, its saving throw. Okay. Like more. It's already down two. Well, for the next attack. Yeah. Uh, no, it's probably not an intelligent creature, is it? I feel like I didn't get a turn. Did I? Wait. Uh, you turned into you, a bear. Yeah, you turned into a bear, and then you, you healed the anominos and turned into a bear. Yeah. And oh, then that it was my turn. turn. Yep. And then it attacks me. Okay. I am going to do a different thing. I'm going to cast... It took a minute to whip our ass. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to cast Healing Word on Rexanor. Okay. Uh, I'll do a level two. Why not? I drink your healing. I drink it up! So you get seven. However, I also have a new ability. As okay. a cleric, I have the voice of authority. Uh... If I cast a spell with a sl with a level of one or higher and target an ally with the spell, that ally can use their reaction immediately after the spell to make one weapon attack of a creature of their your choice. I'm gonna whip the shit out of the <laughs> with my oh, no. uh, do a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> I try. You need to hide. And oh, my staff. good thing I've got my arcane grimoire. <laughs> my arcane. Yeah, your staff, you, you go and pick it up and it breaks. Um, on... Is that your new one that you bought? No, no. Oh, it's, okay. That is my mundane old staff. That's also going to incur a um, a claw attack. Well, then you're probably going to die again. Um, it gets a 10 and I cast shield. Which means it's a 17, which misses. No, it got an 18. Um, uh, no, I used a port and it gets a 10. Okay, so it misses. Good job, Fantex, because otherwise it's going to get a 25. Yeah, All right. That yeah, was, I know. <laughs> that was my bonus action. So I'm going to turn around and ignore all of that nonsense <laughs> and smack this creature in the head with my sword. Oh, God, okay. We need to go back to the land of misfits. I think that's where we belong. <laughs> <I> think, uh... <laughs> All right, back to the boat. Back to the deck. Well, we're level four, and Annie's definitely throwing things over challenge rating four at us. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so. I didn't think I was, but it's kind of a shit show at this level. Um, all right, so you're going to try to attack the, the... I did. I rolled a 21 to hit. That hits? Uh, and it is a silvered longsword. It will do uh, nine damage. Nine damage. Oh. All right. Good hit on the Nyad. Uh, and I think that's my turn. Or Lampid, sorry. All right, Tari, you are up. You're raging. You got, you're kind of right between these two things. Um, I'm going to do a reckless attack. Okay. Um, you could flank this thing. You should probably go around and flank it. Well, uh... Okay, I'll go around. You, I mean, you could attack the other thing, too. Mm-hmm. You can probably also flank that. Okay. Yeah? Go there. You're probably angrier at oh, that. Gosh, sorry, I was... Uh, the, use the point. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Sorry. Don't go there. Does that? Do I flank there? 
Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then I'm going to re- wrestle it, or recklessly attack with my um, battle axe. Okay. Uh, you get an advantage. I'm sorry, advantage. We'll just roll it again. Yep. I, oh. 17 okay. hits. Yes. All right. You didn't need to recklessly attack because you were flanking it. Well. 10 slashing damage. All right. Good hit. Good hit. Yeah, you take your um your battle axe and slash into its tail, slicing off a good chunk. So since I since I did flank it, can I just say that I didn't recklessly attack? Them? Yeah, it's yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yep. All right, is that your turn? Yep. All right, Rexenor. Good shout out. Uh, I am going to use a first level spell. Do you slot. do you want to try shouting at him, Tari? Um. It just has to make a. A wisdom, save. a wisdom yeah, save, right? Save. Wisdom, right? Yes, wisdom save. Uh, eighteen. No, negative minus two, right? So yeah, it does still, I still have minus two. So fourteen for another half second. Fourteen. I think fourteen is actually a fail. I think it is. Isn't it fifteen? I think it's fifteen. It's ten. Oh no, it's eight. Plus your proficiency, so it's okay. Plus your con, con. Four. 14. 14. So, and, it, and it got it's saved. It's saved. saved. Yep. All right. So it's not, it just, it's kind of like flinches a little bit at your roar. It's so, you know, gut wrenching. Um, but it's it doesn't. The lion happen. part of it is like, I know this. Right. The lion's like, eh. All right. Rexnor. I cast cause fear. I needed to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Um, nineteen. God damn it! Well, he fucking saved. Uh, I guess that's the end of my turn. Uh, Do you want to drink a potion? Not yet. Do you have any flash grenades? <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, I got nothing else. So I, I don't particularly <laughs> want to incur an attack of opportunity. <laughs> no. Ezrin. Oh, clickety clack. Okay. How is everyone looking? Bad. Yeah. Bad. I'm down five. A little damage. The Anominos has 10. Uh, Lucky has heal. 10. Oh, that's right. Oh, he's not crotted. Oh. So is the Anuminous down the most? No, well, I'm tired. I'm down to 10 hit points. Lucky's probably percentage-wise. more proportionally. Yeah. Because I can either heal or I can... Shoot him, shoot him. Shoot. Okay, I will shoot. So where's Mr. Clickety Clack? He's on the edge. Yeah. He is going to go up to the Lampid. Yay! Can he flank it? Yes. Awesome. Mr. Flank, Mr. Flankety Flank. Mr. Flankety Flank is going to do like one damage. <laughs> He's going to use his force strike. Okay, that, that hits. Well. And I'll do it again just to make sure I don't crit it. Let's see. Nope. nope. 320. 320. Nice. <laughs> 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 nickel and dime these assholes to death. <laughs> And then Dr. Calamario is going to come over and flank Big Daddy. Okay. And I will actually remember to click on Advantage. And he is going to attack. Got a 15? <laughs> uh, 15 just hits. Three fours. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Like, like, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> it certainly looks that way, Apostle. Yeah. And then I will use my heavy crossbow. And 14 probably misses. 14 does miss. It just goes through okay. one of like the two heads or two of the heads and whoosh, right and through. And I don't get advantage because it's ranged. Correct. Correct. Star. Are you going to move up or stay back? 
Oh, I'm saying that. There's no reason. Yeah, to I'd say that. <laughs> Safe bet. Right here. <laughs> All right. Dianominos, you are prone, but you are awake. Um, okay. I shall stand and... <laughs> stand at attention, apparently. <laughs> I'm very excited. Uh, yeah, all those books exactly. upstairs. The sound what happens when I pray. You can't, you can't die this close to the library. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one place he wants to die. I mean, yeah, this is this is I my must heaven, die, bury me in the basement of the library where the evil monsters are. <laughs> <laughs> We're like twenty feet away from the library. All right, what do you want hey, to do? Keep it, <laughs> keep it, keep it's it down, down. Quietest chimera fight ever. <laughs> I'm casting magic missile at Yay! second level. At, at who? At second level at the Chimera. Okay. And, um, yeah. Actually, no, I'll do it at the other guy. Yeah, okay. let's not split our fire. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. All right, so Lampin. Okay. So that's. What is it? Forty-four at that level. Uh, maybe. Forty-four plus. All right. Let me see this. Nice. Whoa. Wow! Oh, you you maxed. I maxed out. Okay, 20. Yeah, that's max damage. This thing hits it square in the side. This thing is looking quite a bit worse. Um, you you wow. see like this necrotic ooze come out of it um, after all four of those hit solidly in its face. You should probably hide behind something now. Yeah, that's my plan. <laughs> all right, okay. uh, he's moving on. Uh, and you're piecing okay. out right here. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Uh oh, they should mute. Sorry, we have little minions uh, distracting me. All right. all right. So, Lucky Lala, you are up next. And, uh, Dean almost, I will say your three quarters cover if the Chimera stays where they're at. Yeah. Yep. All right. All right. I'm going to cast, um, uh, Acid Arrow at Ooh. this, this, what of this? The Lampid? Okay. And it's going to hit no matter what, but it's either half damage or full damage. Okay. What's the save? Uh, there's no save. Oh, wait, wait. It's a hit. Yeah, you just got to roll for hit. Roll for hitting. 24 hit. 24 oh. does hit. Oh, okay, acid arrow. Here we go. 12 damage this turn, and at the end of his next turn, he gets another... Um, ah, what is it? It's 2d4, like 2d4 damage. Okay. That's a solid hit. I hope you guys, though. <laughs> he is still awake. Oh, darn it. Okay, and then That's... I'm gonna kind of. I don't think these are gonna cover me, so I'm just gonna kind of. Can I take a potion? Yeah, as a bonus I action. Have, I think I have one healing potion. Let me see here. Can you turn back into a bear? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I think I'm. I don't think I can do that. Yeah. How, what do I roll for healing potion? Um, uh, 2d4 plus 2. Okay, 2d4 plus 2. Yep. And while you're doing that, it is the bad guy's turn. Unfortunately, uh, the what? Lampid... Five, yeah. Unfortunately, the Lampid is not dead. Uh, it's going to turn around and go after Mr. Clickety-Clack. And it's going to do... Yeah, it's necrotic touch on him. Ooh, and get an eleven. Does that hit? I can't hear you, Amy. I know you're looking. Sorry. Now let me pull it back up. An eleven misses. 
Misses. All right. And for its second attack, it is going to go and turn around and go after Theodore and do its chill. Is it, is it flanked? It does. So that's... That's with disadvantage. Um... It's yeah, trying. Oh, All eleven right. is lame. That's half of my AC. That it's was. that wasn't for you. Uh, it gets an eight, so that's gonna miss as well. <laughs> that even missed before you put on armor. All right. Yeah, I know that actually. <laughs> I was wearing leather armor. It was worth one AC. The the chimera is then going uh, to. The, uh, Hold on. The lamp the takes two d four acid damage. Line, you should roll that. Yes. I will. Oh, and Theodora, you can heal now. Double four. Five. And it is still up, but oh. barely. The Chimera is going to jump into the air oh. and go and flank Tari. Or but go on the other side of Tari, not flank her, rather. Um, Does that Calamario try to grab it when it jumps? It is. One of its conditions is it cannot have an opportunity attack. Oh, um, opportunity attack. Opportunity grab. Uh, nope. Sorry. <laughs> no opportunity. That is an attack. I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I appreciate the attempts at rules lawyering, but uh... that's right. And it's gonna do a claw attack. Uh, a nat one. Ooh. So Tar, you get an opportunity attack on yes. this thing. Cut its head off. Chop its little. All right, I'm going to hit it with my battle axe. Woo, woo. Uh, you're going to try. Oh, Ten man. misses, though. Oh. oh. And then it's going to try to butt at you with its head. One of its, the ram head. Butt head. Um, and it gets an 11, so that misses. Oh, man, this is having a rough round. And then try to swipe at you with its tail and then gets a 17. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's real tired. It's at, it's tired of this thing. Uh, does a seventeen hit? Seventeen. Yeah. Yes. Seventeen hits. Uh, and so it's gonna do fourteen bludgeoning damage. That'd be seven for you. Seven damage. All right. Um, and then Chiron, it is now his turn. He's like, whoa, bro, this is, like, totally not cool. Uh, <laughs> let me see her. Uh, let me, let me just. Okay. He's going to do a shield of faith on Tari. So what he's going to do is, like, Yo, man, like, Hillian is, like, so cool! And then, boof! And you get the shield around you, um, protecting you from damage. So you get an extra two on your AC. You all of a sudden smell like Axe body spray, and they're afraid to come close to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, Theodora, you see this lampid right in front of you. Looks real wispy. All right, uh, I will do a healing word on Tari. Okay. I'll do a level two, why not? So you get 10 back. Uh, and you, with my magical, wonderful power of voice of authority, uh, you can make a opportunity, you can make an attack against the Chimera. Don't roll double that one. Yeah, don't. Otherwise, I'm never using this ability again. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch. You will now. Uh, no. 25. 25 hits. Oh, you got to say those words forwards, not backwards. Oh, got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. And seven slashing damage. Good hit. Solid. Right. You're chipping away at its front paw there. <laughs> okay. I am going to then, I guess... Try and beat the crap out of uh, this dude here. He's right next to me. Okay. 25 to hit. 25 yes. absolutely hits. Kill it. Sweet. Kill it. Kill it. Your silvered longsword stabs right into it. And... <laughs> boom, 
dissipates into nothingness. Mm. Nice. Nothingness? Mm hmm. Gone. This is an imaginary monster? It, well, it's a magical imaginary monster. I would say Dianominos wouldn't agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that your turn? I mean, the irony of it, we playing an imaginary game. Yes. <laughs> Do you know? I'll by my chest for a little while. Or, uh, Theodore, is that your turn? Uh, I guess I can move now since yeah. I killed it. Yeah. Uh, I, that was my action, my bonus action. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be brave. Ah, uh, that's the wrong thing. I had the hand selected, not the moving. Yeah, done that. The moving and the glaven and the play. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stand behind it. Not that it's gonna help. All right, Tari, you're up. Ooh, this you thing is flanked. Power. This thing is. Yep, you have advantage now. Be it help. Yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> exactly. Bizarro, I'm helping. <laughs> Theodore is interrogating him with his breasts. Um, I'm going to hit him with my... Uh, Their breasts. Battle axe. What am I doing? <laughs> Nothing. It's from... Never mind. It's from a show back in the day. Yeah, from uh, C-Lab 2021. Yep. All right, 19. You know, I never watched that. Oh, yeah. Uh, another 13 slashing damage. Solid hit on this thing. Uh, you get it right across its face this time, doing some pretty significant damage. Blood splashes onto the floor. Anything you want to do? Let me see if I have any uh, bonus. I don't think I do. Can you like um, yell at it again? I don't. I can only Maybe. do that one time. Oh, it hurts your throat. It does. <laughs> yeah. Like doing slippery yell. Hey, it's me, Tari. All right, what's that, Tari? What are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm, that's your that's turn? My, that's All right. Rexnor, it's your turn. Your staff is on the ground broken. What are you doing? Uh, oh. I don't need no staff to fuck this asshole up. Oh. Uh, let's see. It's going to be level two. I'm going to cast Mind Spike. I need him to do a wisdom saving throw. A wisdom saving throw. And it gets a nat 20. Boo. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Rexnor's like, no. <laughs> Rexnor turns around. The, the Snoopy music starts playing. And yeah. Uh, was, God damn it. I was picturing him just like sitting down and being like, whatever. Dude. Absolutely wasted fucking spell slots on this fucking asshole. Yep. Yep. And my staff's broken. <laughs> You're having oh, a <laughs> As a bonus action, I just kicked the ground. You're having a rough day. All <laughs> you right. You kicked your broken staff, it spins around and hits you in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I take 18 damage and I'm knocked unconscious. That's right. <laughs> All right, Ezrin, you're oh, up. Asshole. Yes. So, Mr. Clickety Clack is up first. Yes. So, he's going to fly over mm -hmm. to the linked dude and attack with advantage. Nat 20. Nat 20. There you got it. Ooh. I think the way it does it. Yeah, it's six. Yeah, or I got a six. want. Or wait. Yeah. It gets... What's that? I think it got a two. base of. So it got a, two, a four? No. That'd be the same thing. I think it got a. It just doubles the dice, right? But why is... Oh, it rolls, it rolls, the, it rolls two, two dice. Yeah, yeah, which is the yeah. lamest fucking way to do... Yeah. So its, first one was a th so its first one was a three. Or a one. So yeah, four. Four works. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, the first dice was a one. Okay. So. And the second dice was a two. So. Okay. And when we just double the first dice... Hmm. Yeah. Never mind. So you that plus the one. Okay. Okay. So four damage. What? What next? Okay. Doctor Doctor Calamario. Calamario. Huh? Go for it. Doctor Calamario is going to come up and hit with advantage. Sixteen. Sixteen hits. Nine force. And nine damage. This thing is much, much better. This uh, uses three of its arms this time. Like, whack, whack, whack. Slapping around the lion's face a little bit. <laughs> oh, do a dexterity saving throw. Oh, 
What is this for that one today? We are just no. shit in the bed in this fight. <laughs> I've seen it doing great. <laughs> yeah, great. So your crossbow misfires, the bolt tumbles to the ground. God. That's it. I don't have a misfiring crossbow, Sam. Blink. Okay, well, that's my turn. Deanominos. Um, all right. You are cowering in the corner. I'm cowering. I'm strategically hiding. I'm strategically <laughs> hiding. <laughs> All right. Um, I. Well, what is the range of this? How big is this thing? Is it actually ten feet, like in diameter? Yeah, it's a large creature. Okay. It's a big boy, and it's got shark tail, right? Yes. All right. Then... That's really helpful for it. I bet. It's helpful for whacking things. Um, okay, then I shall cast Cloud of Daggers over it. Okay. And, um, yeah. Cloud of Daggers? Mm. Are you familiar with that spell? No. I think it's going to move, Jason. Uh, it's going to take a yeah. or attack of opportunity, right? Not for, not for long. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't take attacks of opportunity. Take those, but... No, it doesn't take those. Nope. Not when it jumps away. What if there's a cloud of daggers flying over it? That's it's gonna it jump and fly out of the way. I mean, you, you know what? Right if on you... top of it, it's it's a five foot cube. You could put it like right on one of its heads. Yeah, yeah. if if it's a right above it and it has to go straight up, That's that would hit it. Yeah. So I'll do that. Whatever. If it gets two hits, and I'm happy. So okay. I'll do that. And I yeah so <coughs> forty four. Yeah, so I'll say you like you put it in a way where it's like it's such a large creature that it cannot avoid it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I like okay. that they fly in a cube. That seems really improbable. Yeah. I know. It's, it's... <laughs> <laughs> very sharp angles on those uh, daggers. It's like it in the exactly five feet up and then turns yeah. five feet. <laughs> it's like Superman two or whatever it is when they're in the little like flat thing tumbling through space. Uh, yeah. That's so bad. All right. Is that your turn? 12 damage. Um, yeah. And I'm going to walk out. Okay. Bye. So it'll do 12 well, damage. You're leaving. <laughs> it'll do. So Jay, it'll do 12 damage on the Chimera's turn. If it jumps out of the way. Correct. No, it'll do it now. It'll do it, it now. Be, it's just, it's basically um, an area of effect spell that stays. So okay. He, yeah, as long yeah. as he's in that space. So if he tries to get out, then it will hurt him. Yeah. Well. So this these daggers do some pretty significant damage. Anything else you're doing? You're moving? Yeah, I'm just moving out a little bit. You're like, hey, I'm here, guys. All right, Lucky Lala, your turn. Okay, I'm going to cast Moonbeam. Ooh. And he has to do constitution saving slow throughout. Ah, save. Or take, or take, and if he doesn't save, he gets half damage. Uh, it's a nat twenty. What level are you? That's like the third. <laughs> what? Yeah. What level are you casting it at? One. Uh, you cast this moonbeam, and it shines, and it shines down, and nothing happens. It it opens up its mouth, and it goes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I can I can move this moonbeam the next turn and cast it again. Okay. It kind of stays is as long as I'm concentrating. Is that? Uh, it, it's lashed at all my spells too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can, like, you can. Oh, Amy. Amy's as having a issues. Bonus action. I'm gonna heal myself a little bit more. One more healing. Okay. Hold on. Can I cure wounds? Like I'm gonna have to reset. Sorry. Uh-oh. Okay. Now good? Uh, yeah, except for Rex. Oh, yeah, Rex is loading on mine, too. Five hit points. All right. Sorry, gonna... going out, like, pausing oh. and... Yeah, it's fucked. Okay. I'm going to do it one I'm more done. time. Okay. Oh, Rex is still spinning. And now Theodore is. Oh, uh, Theodore. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. This is awesome. Oh. Hey. Yes. 
I'm oh. coming. Don't do it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> there you yeah. go. My, my computer now does this thing where, like, when it opens uh, into a chat, like, the camera says it's out. But I'm here. That's yeah. probably a good thing. Give me, give me 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Always. Hey, um, hey, Delta Gamer, how you doing? All right, so uh, that's your turn. All right, so it is now the Chimera's turn, and... Oh how I read it is that there's no way to get around these blades, correct? Yes. So it takes 44 damage. Yeah. Go ahead and roll. All right. Oh, I think it said 44 damage. I wish. <laughs> 14. So this, this weird cubicle blade fury comes down and what you see is it begins to drill into the back of this chimera blood splurting out from the top this thing drops down covered in stabs and other wounds inflicted by you all dead yeah. Yeah. finally i've never yeah, no, man, oh, you did near max damage you kill Again. me, I kill it. What do you want? Uh, exactly. <laughs> it's good revenge. The magic missile did max damage too. Twenty. Yeah, that was amazing. I don't. I've never seen magic missile do all max damage. So. Well, hey, no. I did four damage to that thing. <laughs> and it broke your. It broke your stick. I, wa I wasn't <laughs> totally useless. Well, so. Almost totally useless. On the bright side, I did save money on the uh, spell component, so I can afford a new quarter staff. That's right. Um, let me see how much XP you guys get. Uh, there's six of you. You all get 600 XP. And we'll just say, uh, for expediency's sake, you all go into this back chamber and find 400 gold each. Yay! You also find a bag of holding. Yeah. All right. A bag so, of holding and what? Uh, you find 400 gold each. Each? Um, a bag of gold and two fifth level spell scrolls. Uh. Which spells? Uh, that's up to Rexenor and Deonominos, I presume. So what does a bag of holding do? I can use spell scrolls. One person? Um, so a bag of holding uh, kind of it's it allows you to carry um, a very large amount of stuff, and uh, I forget like the exact. Um, details of it. Like Let me, 500 pounds. Yeah, like 500 who gets pounds. It, who gets it? Uh, you have one for the party, so it's up to y'all. Lucky, why don't you carry it? Uh, sure. <laughs> so, like, in my other game, I carry around a casket full of beer in mine. Oh, wow. We should give it to somebody who has, like, really low strength. I'll take it to carry all my stuff. Cause yeah, I, can have, I do you have, have a lot of experience for Ezra to have it. <laughs> yeah, she's got a lot of trinkets and little things. and Yeah, so it's two feet in diameter. It's about four feet wide. It's very ornately um, crafted from what you can tell. Uh, inside the bag, it can hold 500 pounds and not to exceed 64 cubic feet. Hmm. They should call it Mary Poppins bag. It certainly <laughs> is. It essentially is. Absolutely. I, I could use it to carry all of my decorative soaps. <laughs> so, uh, Andy, I have a question. Why does uh, Rex and Dinomnos get the spell scrolls when other kids or other people can uh, cast spells? Well, you can possibly share them and write them down. I, say, I can't, but I'm just wondering. If you record them, don't they disappear? You can. Yeah, if we, if we copy them into the book. Yep. Yeah. We get to keep them, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Know them. So it makes the most sense for them to use them because anyone else, it's a one one time thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. We also have from way back when uh, Fog Cloud and Contagion that uh, I've got in my possession. Nice. Yeah. 
That Seems sounds cool. incredibly smelly. And and this is a wizard activity where y'all go to a library and try to beef up your wizards. So that's right. Wizards yeah. go underneath the library. You know, and mages. Yeah, this is this is a mage thing. Thank Heliot for your help, Chiron. Yes. Thank you very much, bro. You guys like okay. did all right, man. You guys are pretty tough. <laughs> we yeah. Fight till the end. Good we job, man. Yeah. Deanominos, I thought you were so dead. I was for a moment. Yeah. Yeah, man. I am. I heard you like. I heard your little like screams from way up at the top. It's like. <gasps> And I was like, oh my god, I'm like, was that a death squeal? squeal? And so like, I came clopping down here and I was like, oh no, my dude, my bro, my guy. No, he's, he's fine. If you if you poke him in the tummy, he makes that noise. Oh, yeah. All right. You know, we all, you know, we all get some gas sometimes to make that noise. I get it. I get it. Um, especially with all the stuff that satyrs eat, man, I can't even fathom. Um, I was loving like grandma's cooking. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, but was that, a, was that a goat tin can joke? <laughs> no. Yeah, I guess it could be. Nothing no. says talking like grandma's garbage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Okay. So you guys like want to like get get out of here? Yes. Yes, I, I believe so. Did we, we find that. the book? Where's the book? So the knowledge is those fifth level spell scrolls, the bag of holding, and the six or four hundred gold as well. I, I certainly like gold. Let's and, go the, and, and, and the experience. So you all begin to make your way. Oh, wait, wait, before we go, I want yeah. to look at this skull thing on the wall. Let Ooh. me move my token closer. Oh, I don't get to see it. Look at how cool it is. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay. It wasn't 3,000. Well, it was 3,300 divided by 6, wasn't it? Or no, that wasn't yeah, it. 3,300 total is what we're... Uh, we were at 2,700. Oh, your current XP. Got yeah. it. Okay, yep. Does Chiron get any? No, he's fine. Would you like some Chiron? He gets the satisfaction of a job well done. Dude, you guys like keep it, man. You earned it. I think you, you worked really hard for this. <laughs> All right. Well, um, so I got I got like this nice inn that you guys can stay at, you know, recoup recoup a little bit, heal your wounds, take a nice long, cool rest, and um, you know, maybe we'll talk in the morning. Does that sound cool? Sounds yeah. wonderful to me. And then that that would be amenable. Yeah, and then if y'all want, like, I know some places, and I can totally trek with you up to Miletus, if that sounds cool, if you all want to go there. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Join our party. Yeah, man. Yes, come along with us. That'd be, like, so <laughs> gnarly, man. <laughs> Chiron, what interests you in our party, just out of curiosity? Well, y'all just seem like super ambitious, awesome people. I mean, you're the Asterian, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. you're like so freaking awesome. It's just it feels good being around you guys. Yeah. You're gonna give us big heads. Yeah, really? I I can give big heads sometimes. Yeah, um, but y'all are just so awesome. Well, if he if he tries it in a, a few levels, perhaps I can counterspell that. Oh yeah, man. I like my head the size it is. Well, it's all about right. healing, man. So, like, good vibes all around. Indeed. Oh, indeed. I to change the size of my clothing. <laughs> all right. You want to get a broski? Wow, dude. You got, like, a really small head now. <laughs> all right. So, we're, are we skipping next week? I guess, yeah. Yeah. Womp, womp, womp. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what's the week after that? Uh, just to make sure we got the dates right. Oops, that's not what uh, I wanted. That is the 29th. Dang, almost August. Oh my god. That, that will be our 20th yeah. session. Dang. Oh my god. How the hell Yeah, 20th on this. Campaign. Potentially may be busy that day. It's my mom's birthday. 
Ah. Easier, but I don't know. I'll ask. Maybe they won't have anything. Going. Okay. Um. What about that Wednesday? I could also do that Wednesday. Does Wednesday work better? The twenty eighth. Sure. Yeah. What are you well, doing on your mother's birthday? I'm good on. Well, the I don't 28th. know. They're in town, so. I... Well, Jay. So I'll just let us know, like in the next week or so, if Wednesday or Thursday would work best. Right on, bro. Right on. That's like so cool. All right. Yo, Chiral, you did a good job. Uh, thanks. Thanks, little bro. No, I'm your big bro here, yeah. Oh, thanks, Heliod, man. You're like, hey, hey, Heliod, I haven't learned anything yet. Um, these guys are all pretty dense. They're not, I mean, they almost die. I mean, that was almost a complete TPK right there. Um, they're going to need a lot of work. I'm not sure what the fuck, uh, you know, the storm god's doing with these guys but man he's barking up the wrong fucking tree but i'll do i'll do everything i can and keep him alive and see what information i can get from him all right yeah we're canon on you bro so just Ky do it Chiron, I, I have a passive perception of 19 i heard all of that no oh. you didn't man no this is all in my head man see you say that i also have detect thought no here and um it's all good stuff <laughs> you're, I mean, you're, you're not wrong, but it is kind of a shitty thing. That's not canon. All right. All right. Well, um, oh yeah. With that, um, thank you yeah. all. Oh, yeah, man, that was awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Scary, but awesome. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. My gosh. That was great. Good night, everybody. Hey, good night. Good night. Uh, I'll see all right. Thank you. Delta Gamer, um, thank you, Jace Odin. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Um, Thanks for, uh, that was really funny, I like playing Yeah, that. that was awesome. Thanks, Apostle, for hanging out with us as well. Um, yeah, that was good times. All right, well, with that, I'm going to be ending the stream. Hope to see you guys in two weeks. I'm going to mute myself, Jay. Um, All right. But, yeah, see, you. see you then. Yeah, see you in two weeks. Bye. All right, uh, so if you're still watching on Twitch, appreciate you. Hopefully we'll see you in a couple weeks. I might stream um, in between then. I definitely have some things already planned for next week um, or next session, but uh, I don't want to go two weeks without streaming. Otherwise, you can catch us this Saturday uh, at 8 o'clock Mountain Time, 10 o'clock Eastern, or, yep, that's how that works, uh, on the We Slay Things channel. All right. Auf Wiedersehen.